<clears throat> All right, so Shet, I'm coming to you. I'm running away. Jads is being so pedantic right now that I'm actually genuinely, no joke, a little pissed off. <laughs> I'm actually annoyed. Let's move on to the stream. Do, 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 do. What happened? It's nothing serious. It's just stupid, stupid bullshit conversations about semantics and definitions and shit. It's a stupid thing to get annoyed over. Let's put it that way. So I'm running over to, uh, to, to Twitch. Baldur, you're gonna break this man. And you're the one who's drawing the diagrams. Or are they supportive diagrams? Inner walls, outer walls, which ways do walls face? Walls don't face anyway. Walls like are, are multiple facing. Walls face relative to where you are positioned to them. I, I said, I said that the basement I'm in only has one wall. And and then they're like, oh, so it's a circular basement? Because if it only has one wall, like, like, just like, come on. Like, the fact that I'm in a basement, the outer walls are implied. Like, what the, f walls have no faces to the wall? Exactly, exactly. That's a weird thing. It's not a weird thing to say. It's obvious that the fucking, the basement only has one central wall. Otherwise, I'm outside. Like, what the, who is a, who is a circular basement? Well, your mic sounds way clearer. I was going to ask, actually, like, it's been about a week since I updated the settings. Is it? Is it, is, it, uh, is it good? Is it positive? Am I still clipping or what? Where's the one wall in relatively to you? It's right in front of me. I can, I can hit it with my foot. Here? I'm, I'm, I better not hit it too hard or else it might fall over. Sounds crisp, Doug? That's good. All right, time to re-record the whole Witcher 3 script with, uh, with the new settings I found out. What's behind the wall? Another room that we don't use because the basement is only partially finished and the other room is like not even partially finished. One interior wall, the exterior walls are just subjectively implied. Yeah, exactly. Like, why Why would I say one wall? And that, oh, I, I mean the outer walls. I'm in a cave and it just keep, and I don't know where the cave ends. It just goes on forever because I can't see any walls in the cave, but there is a wall in front of me. You could use the term dividing wall or you could be a human being and just realize what I meant because what else could I possibly mean? No, to be, to be clear, there's, there is a, there is a difference between saying, I don't understand what you're saying. That's fine. Not understanding. That's fine. But to, instead of being like, Hey, I don't understand. Instead of doing that to just go, Oh, so you're in a circle. Now you're just being a pedantic parrot. Okay. Pedantic parrot. Are we going to have, are we going to have a, the cursor on the screen? They're fucking with you. Balder is not fucking with me. This this is classic Balder, okay? Balder Balder is like a character in the Highlander movie. Since Firebug has been banned, Balder absorbed all of Firebug's power because there can only be one. This is what's happened, okay? Who are we saying thank you to? Oh, it's time for the daily daily an uh, annunciation of me saying Mathiv Pinneth. Thank you, thank you, Mathiv Pinneth for the uh, for gifting out a sub. Will you finish the DP fest? I don't think we're close enough to finish the end. We're gonna do a mix of main quests and side stuff today, I think. Um, when I alt tab in, I'm curious if the cursor is going to be there. Um, there's going to be no more fan art until Delhi permission is done because every single time that I have to restart the game, there's a chance I have to restart the whole computer and I would like to minimize those chances. So sorry, it's not ideal. I don't like it, but like restarting the computer in the middle of a stream and splitting the streams and everything is, is a disaster. Unless, um, it's a bit where I say, did I just do that? Did I just hit the power cord with my foot and then it cuts off? And I'll be, it's a German bit, actually. I've seen the video. I can't believe it's still so long until Valhalla. It's Valhalla. Oh yeah, the um, the uh, the VN game where you make drinks. Okay, yeah, I forgot about that. When's Valheim coming out of early access? I'd like to play Valheim. Previously during the investigation. <clears throat> so, so you want to find out everything there is to know about thy hand? Have you heard about everything? Have you heard about everything everywhere all at once? Seven Oscars and it has spoilers that you would like. Uh, a blonde girl. Um. I want to watch it, but then I saw that Ben Shapiro said that it doesn't look very good and that, it, or that it's a really bad movie that no one's going to remember it in a couple years. And, um, now I don't want to see it. So I don't want to hate on Ben Shapiro too much because I don't really know him. Although he seems like he has some insane takes sometimes whenever, when I've heard him talk, it's usually something absolutely deranged, but then, you know, it's being cherry picked, obviously. No, no one can be that wrong all of the time. So I don't want to hold people against like Twitter, like receipt standards. Um, but saying that no one, no one, like, like n no one at all watches Oscar, Oscar winning movies, like five years after they win their Oscar is just, why would you even like type that, look at that, think, oh my God. Yeah. That's a point. Like uh, all it takes is one person to go, what the fuck are you talking about? I watch those movies all the time. Like, like, like people obviously, people obviously watch like famous movies. Like they're, they're on, I think me and Lily have a list of all like the, the big movies that we want to watch. And a lot of them are like, um, Oscar, Oscar winning 
winter movies to see why they're so successful. Like, it's just stupid. But everyone is dumb on Twitter. Absolutely everybody, even me, especially me. I think Twitter should be like, like a Somnium. It should just be whatever said on Twitter, like who gives a shit. Twitter just brings out the absolute worst in every single person, including me, including you. Six minutes in Twitter, yeah. Uh, should we see what the kids' quests are? Let's see what the kids' quests are. I haven't gone on Twitter in, in so long, and every single time before that, like, like Zach, just did you want to go the seven or eight times I went on Twitter before that in the past, like, That's I don't know, six me. months. As I'm scrolling down, I have this moment where I'm like, wait, what am I doing? Why am I doing this? And then I just stop. Oh, you guys are going, where are you guys going? Oh, hello? We saw someone. We really did. Isaac, Isaiah, what exactly did you see? Someone in the forest. Standing under Anna's tree. Not a goddess. A little different. A ghost? Yeah, maybe it was a ghost. Ghost? What makes you think that? We found this on the ground there. Would a ghost drop this? You got out of focus picture. Wait, this looks like Let part of see. the main story. It's blurry and out of focus. I can make out two people, but not their faces. Well, one so of them that's is... why they think it was a ghost. But then who was under Anna's tree? It's like it's like Anna and Becky, isn't it? Or Anna and Diane? Little ditty about Anna and Diane? Someone is walking as forest in the early afternoon when the weather is clear. Give this person the out of for focus picture. Let the twins know once you found out who the ghost is. All right. All the side quests are main story. Oh, it's like Witcher 1. All right, we have to do all of them then. We have to do every single one. Florence is working today. She is working today, yeah. Did you hear Florence's new cover of um of Just a Girl by No Doubt? It's pretty good. Lily's been listening to it a lot. Time to replay chapter, get Becky's. Oh, yeah, we have missed some quests already, haven't we? Oh, well. I want to impress someone. Can you say that you are the president of Ali Express? This is Joseph Anderson, and I am the president of AliExpress. There you go. So yes, no on everything, everywhere, all at once. It's not anime, so you can watch it. Oh yeah, I'll watch it eventually, for sure, yeah. Just, I don't know when I'm gonna have time. Like, I, I, don't, I don't watch TV or movies, really. The last movie I watched was Glass Onion on, on New Year's. Are you a peanut butter and jelly enjoyer? Um, I hate anything to do with peanuts or nuts. Not, I hate nuts. I don't like them. Uh, I'm also not really that big on jelly or jam, but like I'll eat it. More like ass onion. It was pretty good. I thought I enjoyed it. Why is chat so horny? I think maybe, maybe I've been a little too horny on main lately. We need to back up from the horniness. We go through cycles with this. I think I get a little too comfortable and then, and then I realize, oh, maybe I'm saying some deranged shit on stream and then I want to back off a little bit. I blame Jads. Yeah, it's pretty good. Joe only barely realizes he is deranged. Are you saying that I am barely deranged or are you saying I'm deranged and I barely re realize it? The latter, really? I'm not deranged, am I? I heard the killer had been caught, so why are you still here? The case isn't finished yet. The investigation goes on, I see. Just when I thought I might finally be able to enjoy fishing in peace. Read it, read it again, uh, Joe. Hey, I I read it and I understood what it said, and clearly it is saying you know the latter. However, even when you think you understand something, it is often a good policy to ask for clarification or restate the person's position or restate two positions and ask them which one is the more correct one, because all communication is a prox is an approximation, and this is causes a lot of fights and misunderstandings and breaks down. So if you think there's even the slightest possibility that you don't understand mis that you don't understand something, you should say it, but you should also say it without being a pedantic prick and saying, oh, so you live in a circle. Do time to have a coffee uh, or a mocha or maybe straight black. Time to have a coffee. Oh, gonna help me solve the case. Oh, are we gonna get it in one? Oh, God damn. Oh, I caught Jim Green. Whoa, what the fuck? What the fuck is going on over there? What the fuck is that? Oh, uh, you know, I, I bet it's the waterfall from so far away that it's not rendering improperly, so it looks like cheeks. Okay, maybe not. What's going on over there? How would we know? Because everyone has always played the games I have played on stream before, even if the game just came out. That's the Insulidian Phasmid Joe. Oh, yeah. Okay, sorry. My, my, my bad. I forgot. I wait until you play it so I can have the right opinion. Thank you, Mathiv Pianath. <clears throat> While we're already here and talking about communication, whenever you want clarification for something is pronounced, you throw in some attempts at pronunciation at us without waiting for us to confirm or deny. You do four, you just do four takes in a row and, and ask like that, and only one was correct, and we're left to figure out how to tell you which one it was. Honestly, it drives me kind of insane. That's the intended experience. <laughs> Thank you for confirming that that is working as intended. All right, thank you. <laughs> All right, where are we going? We're gonna go see Mr. Stewart. Where, why does my car not spawn with me? Is it only around at the police station or at the um, at the hotel? 
I wonder if we're gonna have another quest when we get uh, another puzzle when we get there. I'm sorry if it genuinely drives you crazy. Like if it makes you actually mad, then okay, that's not the intended experience. I don't want to make anyone actually mad, but you know, like I find being angry enjoyable. So maybe I'm, uh, yeah, I am pretty deranged, I guess. I don't know. So is the basement talk a circle trick? No, it's not. The basement floor is 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 one big square that has four outer walls obviously or else i'd be outside and one interior splitting wall that cuts the the, the the square basement into two rooms and i am in one of those rooms the other room is is directly opposite the wall that i can kick with my foot right now and it is full of garbage and, 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 and like mortal. storage and Finally, like, there's insulation arrived. falling out of the walls and shit you are welcome to come inside did you know you chose different versions of Deadly Permission on Twitch categories, so it's separating that? Like is it really? Oh, well. Hide and seek. That sucks. Hide and uh -huh. seek. Oh, we're gonna have to shoot some people? Okay, if you were in a circular room, how would you describe it in relation to number of walls? I don't- I don't think I would. I would think I would say I'm- I'm in a circular room. This- this is a circular room, yeah. But I believe the way I described it was, like, there's- there's one wall down here and two rooms. Like, the second room was in it, so obviously the outer walls are implied. Will you show stream art and for Spoken Fridays on Saturdays? I will not do that, no, because I don't want fan artists being like, oh, I worked so hard on my fan art and he showed it on a fucking Saturday with the Forspoken. If it's Forspoken fan art, I'll show it. But I think that would be doing the, uh, the fan artist dirty. Okay, is this all in our head? The music tells me yes, but... These girls, Zach. Do you see the resemblance? Yes, I do. Anna. Becky. She looks like Diane. And... Carol, Zach, look. Emily. <gasps> oh no, she is going to be a goddess. How many oceans are on Earth? I don't know what the oh, what the hell's going on? I don't know what the what the actual definition term of ocean would be. There is definitely one one large orthogonal connected body of water on earth that i believe all the oceans are a part of but i don't know how i would uh i don't know how i would like argue that there are many oceans but one sea but there there are like inland seas and stuff there's like the red sea and the salt sea and the, the blue sea and then the sea and then there's the seaside there's coffee sea tc dc there's lots of seas an inland sea is just a lake silly Nah, i don't think so do straws have one hole or two holes joe they have one hole now, if you pinched the straw in the middle, now it has two holes. No, now it has zero. What do you mean? A, a hole doesn't need to have an, an exit. If you dig a hole in the ground, you don't have to dig all the way to the other end of the earth for it to be considered a hole. Yes, it does. Oh, so you can't dig holes in the ground. You can just make the dirt a little lower in some part. There is a picture of the forest. It looks look really mysterious. That's a pit. What do you mean? People call those holes all the time. Is it belly button a hole? No. Oh. Do, 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 do. Then neither is a hole in the ground. Of course it is. Just because two things share some qualities don't don't uh, mean that they're both the same. If you had a bullet shot through you and it didn't come out the other side and it was large enough, like I honestly I don't even think it needs to be large enough. That is a very sharp corner there. Um, it, it's going to be considered a bullet hole. Just like I have a bottle of water right now, I open it up. There's now a hole in the top that I can drink through, even though there's no part in the bottom that opens up. However, I don't think every single pore that's in your skin is considered a hole, and I don't think your belly button is considered a hole either. Oh man, Yoshi! Holy shit! How? Oh, fucking hell. Why is your dog so good? I don't know. It's like, it's all the time. Last night I was just sitting here and he was just letting it, letting them go one after the other, like audibly. It was like I was playing Hidden Space Outlaw again. He's so gassy. Do you have an innie or an Audi belly button? I have an innie, like a normal person. If you have an Audi belly button, I don't trust you. Audi phobia, yep. Do your earlobes hang or connect? What do you mean? My ears look like York's ears. Some can hang or well, every okay. So, so you're asking, do, do my earlobes hang a little down and there's like a little loose flap and then and then they loop back up and then they connect because everyone's earlobes connect, obviously. I, 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 I don't think they hang, maybe it like a tiny, minuscule amount. I don't know. I, I find it hard to tell. My earlobes hang a lot, Joe. That sounds fun. I have no problem with that as long as you don't have an Audi belly button. 
Re-clear communication. I'm uncertain how genuine you are riffing on my takes. So if you're actually annoyed, do say because it's hard to tell I shot or lie. I am actually annoyed, but I'm not actually annoyed to the point that it's a problem. Like I'm, I'm fine with being this level of annoyed. So don't worry about it. If it gets to be a problem, I'll say it. Should we shave? Are you left-handed or right-handed? Um, I'm uh, ambivalent. Okay, we're 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 pretty clean, so we'll keep this uh, this one on. Ambivalent. Um, I am predominantly right-handed, but I do use my left hand for some things. So, my d right dominant, I would say. Why are you all so perverted? My right hand is the top and my left hand is the bottom, yep. Oh, we're outside with the, uh, with the waterfall now. I like waterfalls. Can rain be considered a waterfall? No, it is water falling, but it is not a waterfall. Did you know that Niagara Falls has a unique microclimate that makes it a great place to make wine? Um, I, I did know that they make wine there. I think I did at least. I remember seeing some 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 winery stuff there uh, when we were looking to move there. Uh, but I didn't know that was the reason. I thought maybe they just like decided to do that there. I've been to Niagara Falls a bunch of times. I love it. It's like a, it's quite an amazing experience if you've never been to Niagara Falls. You just like stand there and you're just like, holy shit. By the way, in case anyone does have an, an Audi belly button and is feeling like like excited right now, I don't I don't mean it. If you have an Audi belly button, you know I'm I'm fine with that. We have no problem. Love your body, man. Like seriously, says the guy who hates his body. But you know you should try. Do you have a six pack, Joe? Everyone has a six pack. Is it visible? No. I mean I'm pretty happy. I've already lost five pounds since I started exercising again, and that's pretty fast. So I'm happy about that. Oh yeah, let's drink it. What is that, a flare? Oh. What are the flares for? Have you played Mother 3? I never know which one Mother 3 is. I've played Earthbound. If that's Mother 3, I think that's Mother 2, isn't it? I, I don't think I've played Mother 3. Mother 3 is a GBA one that was never officially translated. Um, I think I might have tried to play that one with a fan translation on an emulator like a long time ago. Is that the one where you're like in a small town in the forest and you go out with your dad and somehow you're the one who's in charge somehow or something, so, something like in that area? Yeah, yeah, I, I played that for, I don't know, 30 minutes and I actually got bored and stopped. So I, I guess I have played that, but um, not for long. Why are, you, why are you licking the chair dog? What? I feel like maybe maybe I knew it was a, a fan translation and I was worried that it wasn't translated properly So I was like, yeah, I don't want to I don't want to ruin my experience of this I'll wait for the official translation even though that's a really stupid thing to do But yeah, may maybe that's why I don't know. This was a long time. ago. I barely remember this chat. I Think chat forgets how old I am and I understand it I also think there are some people in chat that that are so much younger than me that they cannot comprehend what it can be like to be like I, I have a memory that's 20 years old like and I was like I was done you know when I had that memory formed you know like <laughs> like 20 years ago was 17 for me okay so like I could have had like a really strong opinion and, and, and a moment about something 20 years ago and I can barely fucking remember it and I get it like I'm, I'm not holding it against you guys but like it's like I don't I, I barely remember playing that on a translator uh, on, a, on an emulator so it's probably fine 20 years ago I was one years old poggers this says a lot about society. Joe, if you can answer this question, will you be releasing your game in early access or complete it? So I'm not sure yet. I think I haven't discussed this with uh, with Sarah and Wuggy yet. We're, I'm going to propose the possibility that we release it in early access with the intention of saying like, look, the game is done. All the content is in there. Like, it, it, like we're not going to be adding more content to this, uh -huh. but it might need some some testing and and i just want to put in early access Emily. so you understand that it's not like been like as thoroughly tested as a big development At team times, could we must purge things from this world but i don't know if we're going to do that exist, even if it means losing someone in love but it'll be fully complete stop man he really cares about emily this world is imper yeah he i said that yesterday i think yeah i i get big lysander off vibes see that? i must be getting tired I don't really like the idea to be honest. I don't either, but like I also I dislike the idea more of putting the game out and then it has a lot of issues because we couldn't do as extensive a testing process as, as some big teams can and people aren't going to want to understand that. So like like which is the the worst of it, you know? Like I don't know. I'm guessing where we saw Emily is the way to go. Did you like Earthbound? 
I liked it, but Mother 3 blows out of the water from me. Really? Mother 3 is that much better? I liked Earthbound, but I played Earthbound when I was a kid, and I had a strategy guide for it, and I really enjoyed the strategy guide. It added a lot of texture to the world for, for me, because um, it wasn't like a where-to-go strategy guide. It was it was like a... They had like newspaper clippings and stuff. It was a very stylized strategy guide that added a lot to the world, so it was kind of like a companion piece to me. I, I could read it um, while I was playing the game, um, and I really enjoyed that. It's the only game I've ever done that for. Um, I don't know. I don't love Earthbound, but I I do remember it pretty fondly. Excuse me. Sorry if there were people asking about the uh, about the the game after that. I didn't see it because I was answering that question. Uh, we will have testing, obviously. Like I'll I'll probably um, ask some people in, who I trust in the community to to give it a whirl. Like it's not going to be like it's not going to go up with with nobody. But I, you you know we have limited resources, so I don't know how we're going to handle that. I have to talk to uh, I have to talk to uh, Sarah Tamagi about that. Have we revealed the name of the game yet? We have not, no. We've revealed the genre though. It is a it is a top-down Zelda-like. The kind of um, combat feel that we're going for is like Hollow Knight, but top-down. So kind of like Hyper Light Drifter-ish, that kind of area. It is not a visual novel, no. It's also been in development for longer than you probably think. Is the story good? No, because I'm writing it. It's not really a story game. Does it have a dating mini game? Um, kind of. <laughs> no, it doesn't, no. Let's manage expectations. Do I have to hit the button within the time limit? Can you pet the dog? There is no dog. Would you like us to add a dog? Does it have comedic elements? Do you mean does it have Marvel shit? Absolutely, yes. I can't do anything without trying to make myself laugh. So, like, yeah. Maybe they'll be cut. But, you know, we'll see. Does it have stream inside jokes? So far, no. Will you play it on stream when it releases? Um, no, because I'll make my own game crash and glitch out. <laughs> Are you making the sound effects? I'm not making the sound effects. Uh, Teef on Jads is making the sound effects. The core team is um, is Wuggy and Sareth. Um, obviously, I'm a part of the core team, but like I'm more of a like funder producer for, for the most part so far. Um, I'm I'm underselling my involvement a little bit because like I, I hate any uh, any any merit. <laughs> uh, but that's that's the core. And then uh, Tief is making Tief is making the sounds. Um, I have a composer that um, I contacted way, 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 way too early for, for the music, and I feel really embarrassed about that. And I hope that they are still on board when we are finally ready to finalize the music, which should be, like, kinda soon? Maybe? Maybe not? Um, and uh, there was one other artist that we, that we had uh, contracted doing some of the art for the game. What engine are you using? Unity, obviously. Officially the ideas guy. Hey, you can be the ideas guy if you're also the money guy. Them's the rules. Okay, is this the first time we've spoken to someone while we're still in the zombie realm? Zack, looks like we're out of the countryside and back in civilization. Welcome, you Oh, okay, there you go. He just explained it. I brought the documents. Just what is going on in here? I warned you about haste. Take it slow. You'll lose sight of what's important if you just rush past it. So is he typing what he wants to say in a voice synthesizer and then he's miming saying it? So many people have got it all wrong. They think speed is the key. That being first is the best. They want speed and are satisfied with what the speed brings, even if it means that they miss so much on the way, they don't even see that. I see everything that they don't. From here, I see it all. Then, when the time comes, I make use of what I see. I can get whatever I want in this way. Whoa, Anything astronauts. Holy crap. You're certainly talkative today, Harry, but I didn't come here for a business lecture. Tell me everything you know. Speed is not important. Timing is what is important. Timing. What if this is a speedrun? York, you have a natural gift for waiting for the correct timing. 
Wait, what? Just be careful that your haste does not ruin everything. That will be vital to solving the current case at hand. York, I know more than you think, but less than what you hope. One, you have Nick in custody. Two, Thomas is missing. Three, Three. Nick is Carol Thomas. has a locket that belongs to the murderer. I also know that this case revolves around the Red Seeds. <laughs> but that's about it. So you've got an inside line on police information. That reminds me. The Emily's tongues were cut out, weren't they? But that's only a minor point. Don't let the shocks blind you to what's more important. That's another business tip. Oh, nice. Harry, I'm impressed. You gather information really well. You hacked into the FBI network, too. Oh, he's hacking right nice. now. He's a hacker but man. I didn't come here to hear this. Then let us close the business seminar. It's time for a history lesson instead. I remember it oh, as oh, it what the yesterday, fuck? if you'll pardon the cliche. It was dark. Rain, so says Mr. Foggy. Stewart. What the f My parents, who normally got along, were fighting over something. My father was blaming my mother, it seemed. And so I left the house, headed for the clock tower. There was a party being held that day to celebrate the tower's completion. I wanted to see the town from above, and so I decided to climb the tower. And I saw my dad show up and say, Sometimes things have to be purged from this world, even what you love. And then he killed my mother. Curious child. And saw it being constructed day after day. I'm not sure why. Is the graveyard guy? I'm really drawn to the tower in some way. And that's why I knew. From the pit in the theater, there's a path to the clock tower. They were just cleaning up after the party, so it was easy to get into. The secret passage to sneak into the tower. But when I reached the top, I saw something very strange. The bell? What? The military? Ooh. There were soldiers there, all wearing gas masks. I moved closer and saw that they were fiddling with some kind of device. <laughs> Just then, for the first time, the bell rang throughout the town. I reacted with fear and left the tower as fast as I could. It's a bell tower, not a clock tower. Why are they laughing? Because they're evil. Fuck this town. <laughs> when I got outside again, the purple fog was spreading. Where the fuck is this going? Everyone's here crazy? What did they do to this town? I unconsciously counted the number of times the bell rang. After the twelfth time, the bell did not stop ringing. It rang a loud thirteenth time. Oh, that means it's a leap day. What? <laughs> what the fuck is going on? What man? <laughs> the raincoat man disappears. <laughs> Fucking Kingsman. Free bird. It was an anime game after all. Branch. That's a pipe, bro. Tree punishment?
why was your dad dressed like this? Oh, oh, oh. The following morning, I awoke surrounded by dead bodies. He's like, yeah, anyone else hearing this shit? Anymore, and the purple fog was gone. I couldn't believe what I saw and what I myself had done. What do you mean? But even worse things were waiting for me when I got home. You hit your dad with a pipe once. My That's it. My was dead. Killed, presumably, also by my father. Oh, my dad did, my dad did that too. York's gonna bond. The next day, the town was overrun by military personnel. That's when the gag order was issued. Talking about the incident was unappreciated, a taboo. But even still, people stopped going outside when it rained. What, everyone remembers? Country folk are very patriotic. We never tell our children about what happened. What? But these things find a way out of even the tightest of lips. Parts. People only speak of the killer in the red raincoat, which is where the legend of the raincoat killer comes from. Quite a story. Too bad it's bullshit. After the incident, the gas seeped into the soil of the town. Even today, when it rains, a minute amount is released. That's why I never take my mask off when I'm outside. This town is dirty, York. Y you're not outside if right what now. What you say is true. Killer is someone who is badly affected when it rains. You need to draw the conclusions, not I. I have no conclusions. Oh, it's us! Is there a connection between the red seeds and the gas then? That's why we just go insane when it rains shooting people. This is just my own presumption. The seeds and the gas have a similar effect on our nervous systems. I believe someone figured that out and decided to use it. Or it could just be nature's way of getting back at us humans. York! <laughs> Good news! You'll hear from George soon. They have found Thomas. I'll tell you one last and very important thing. This is a recording. Just as you suspected, everything I have told you is gibberish. Oh, okay. I never hacked into the FBI server. And I certainly know nothing about the Red Seeds. L oh, what? I shall thank you for listening to what? <laughs> What about the raincoat killer? Who just what? <laughs> Let me ask you one thing then, Harry. You're a businessman. You must be after something in return for giving me this information. York, at times we must purge things from this world because they should not exist. Wait, what? Even if it means losing someone that you love. But that still does not justify that. Remember this. Everything changes in four. There isn't a single thing that can maintain its shape for eternity. Overlook this fact, you'll be making a big, big mistake. The heart tie is just selling this right now. What's going on? I don't know, was any of that true? The story seems like it has to be true. What What happened? But he said everything I told you is gibberish. What, what the fuck is... Zach view? Aww. Put on your seatbelt, love. York, we found Thomas. Is he dead? He's at his house, right? How did you know that? Why didn't you check there? Good timing, Emily. Good timing. Ugh, whatever, just get in. George is heading over there already. Wait, Let's we're... get a move on. You drive. Zach, things are finally starting to come together. All we need now is for Thomas to fill in the blanks in our new legend. Three, two, one. Do 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 Steam Deck one year anniversary. They've added startup animations to the Steam Point Store. Not that you couldn't just rip those for free, but I I really need to set up uh the the uh Emu Deck, which um if obviously you all know is is um an Emu themed wallpaper, nothing else. I really need to set up the Emu Deck. My deck my deck doesn't feel complete without the Emu. 
I opened it up by the way and I, I got the plastic bit out. It looks like the other trigger is missing a plastic bit too, but I can't I can't see it anywhere inside. Those ways you remember this, but would you agree with my take of this game isn't weeb, but it's very anime? Actually, I don't think I would agree. I don't think it's very weeb, but I don't think it's very anime. It's paced too well for that. It's also stranger than most anime, I think. Is it? This game is pretty well paced, I think, yeah. For a game. For a game. How do you measure pacing on this on the side? Yeah, I just kind of pretend that I, you don't do any. It's, it's impossible to measure pacing when there's optional content. But like, at the same time, having said that, there's also a lot of value from having the freedom to wander around and soak in the atmosphere and get to know the town, get to know the people, that adds to the story. But if it's taking too long, then that's your own fault, right? I don't know. Wait, why are we here? This is where Thomas lives? Isn't all content optional? No. George, what's happening? We received an anonymous call informing us that Thomas returned home. I sent Emily to get you right away. No idea who made the call? No. That's why I came on ahead, to see if the information was correct. A light did come on, but only for a second. I He's saw a tall male sure. silhouette in the window. It was Thomas. Okay. I'm going in then. You two wait here. Thoughts on Disco Elysium's pacing? We'll be ready to burst in at any moment. Just call out. Hmm... Uh, maybe not that great, actually. I feel like maybe unless your game is Zach, super linear, it's the same in the countryside after all. I mean, you shouldn't talk about pacing. The climax of an investigation is always in an apartment. Why are we going guns blazing? Can you explain what's going on in the story in a few words? I couldn't even explain what's going on in the story with a lot of words. I have no idea what's going on. Hmm? Man, the elephant's feeling sultry in this scene. The song has already finished playing. What was the song? Return Needle. Hello, York. This is Thomas. Start profiling. Considering I have no idea what's going on or where anything is going, I'm really invested in the story. Yeah, I'm invested in too. This the game has a lot of heart. Too much noise. They're still missing a vital piece of the puzzle. I'm starting to get worried though that there's gonna be a lot of unexplained shit at the end of this. There probably is actually. How did the other murders in all the other places that, that York found the seeds happen? Eh, they just kind of did. Thomas's Biscuit. Ooh, we got a card. Nice. <sighs> a red wig. This confirms our suspicions, Zach. What suspicions? What suspicions? Oh, that kind of looks like the um, the hair of the, the killer in the profiling in the other scenes. But the guy was huge. It couldn't be Thomas. Let's have a quick shave. Shaving or not. Rip Nanako. Rip Nanako 2. Orb, Orb said I'm a weep. Oh, this is a pretty big apartment actually. Or is this another unit that that we can just go to? Whoa, what the fuck happened in here? Rip Mizuki. Turns out fruit can expire. Huh? A series of boot prints. Culprit must have entered this room. Have you played Last Zactronics game, Last Call, BBS? I have not, no. The only Zactronic games I have played is Infinifactory, Opus Magnum. I feel like I played one other one. I did not play Space Chem. I like those games, but there's something kind of tedious about them. A record player, apparently quite old. It's as if the people in this town live back in the good old days. And they're all lying about when they all start killing each other. The biggest, most tragic, most awful. Looking good, York. The shoes were found in the bathtub. They are wet, which means the person didn't have time to take them off. What? Ooh. I don't know what that means. What does that mean? I don't... Does anyone know what that means? Is it? Is it? Is that a nonsensical sentence? They didn't have time to take them off when they first came in the door, maybe? Like, because who would walk through the, the apartment with wet shoes on? You don't take showers with your shoes on? Oh, is it implied he took a shower with the shoes on? How'd he get his pants off? Uh-oh. Oh, 
Oh, is Thomas a, 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 a cross-dresser or something in that area? Huh? Oh, oh, what? So, Thomas wants us to look around for him a bit more. So there's more to it. Kind of like the bonus footage on a DVD. What, what, what the fuck happened there? Don't you agree, Zach? You think? What do you mean? North? You think I haven't had any indi inclination or indication of that at all? What, what happened to your we eyes, to there, seal Emily? Off all routes out of town. No need for that, George. Huh? If he was going to leave town, he would have done so by now. Which means he's still got some unfinished business. Why did the thing just break? What? Shit is just happening. Oh! 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 Damn! We're, oh, 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 man. Oh, emergency. Uh-oh. It's time for zombies. Zach, do you think they heard what I said? We don't have to make a fuss. Thomas isn't going to leave town. Because he's already dead. That gives us plenty of time to find a way to view the bonus footage. I thought George was going to listen. Episode 3, Cruel Device. Okay. Oh, we have to drive there. Okay, let's go save it. Saving or not. I think I like surrealist media more than I used to. Because the more I experience in life, the more life itself feels really surreal. And while it's never, like, as surreal as this, weird shit does happen. And it feels kind of true to life having this, like, layer of... You can't ever really know what's going on in a very surreal, mysterious way. I don't like it all the time. If everything was like this, I would get pretty annoyed, but I do like it, I enjoy it. Life is surreal, yeah. One might even say life is strange. Zach, if you notice anything, just stop me. Oh, Zach noticed something. <laughs> Emily? Is that... <laughs> She's gone. Back in the car. Yeah. Red dress, red raincoat. Oh, hold on. I'm coming, Anna. I just need to eat some food. Let me eat. Let, let me let me take a band-aid out. Okay, I got her. What is this scene, man? It's actually kind of working? What the hell? The music? This sounds so vaguely Seal. Yeah, I, I see. Well, you know, that one Seal song, which is the only Seal song anyone knows. Yeah, I hear it. I'm starting to wonder if maybe I could have gotten back in the car. There's a bird for every zombie that you've killed so far in the game. Kojima has done it again. This game has to be the shittiest masterpiece I've ever seen. Have you not played Elden Ring? Huh. Are you fucking kidding me? <laughs> I wonder what Sway would do with a high budget. The investigation. So you, you want, want to find, find out everything, everything there is to know about the hand? Um, I, I kind of feel like the low budget adds to it. I feel like with a high budget, maybe that would... I don't know, maybe it would just be more of this, just a much bigger experience. I don't know. <laughs> oh, no, you have to do on foot. Okay. D4 was real good, but it got no advertising, so it fucking tanked. I've never heard of D4. What's D4? Dark dreams don't die. Okay, maybe I have heard of that. That sounds vaguely familiar to me. <sighs> Sorry, I'm not sleepy. I just felt the kind of urge to stretch and yawn there. Stretchers and yawning. Name a more iconic duo. All right, here we go. Like coffee with milk. All right, I'm going to go and save it. One second. Fuck. All right. Well, this is going to be really tedious to troubleshoot if it crashes again. You ever drink coffee with milk? I drink coffee with milk in this stream. Oh, it didn't crash. That's good. We're good. Okay, are we just looping? Rachel, we did this already. Three, two, one. Okay, we're gonna go left this time. Oh, we're going straight this time. Okay. I thought I was gonna crash because the song ended. Well, which way, Rachel? Straight? I feel straight. No. Oh, there she is. 
crash. <laughs> Skirt shot, nice. Wow, that was a technique. Open and close the doors. Uh oh. Can I save it, please? Let me save? Oh, we never did find out Carol's a troublesome customer. Let's have a cigarette after all that running. I almost became a goddess of the forest myself. <laughs> Although I think the look might suit me. Yeah. What do you think, Zach? That's true. You're wearing the same clothes for it, yeah. Or the right clothes for it. All right, sleep. Oh, phone. Thank you. Time to have a coffee. All right, if you walk through the fire, you're going to get set on fire, and then you're good. Oh, fire makes you move faster. Oh, okay. Speaking of drag, did you see John Cena in a miniskirt? More men should dress like that. I unironically agree. I think it's bullshit that that you know, in the in the most standard sense, like women get to like dress in men's clothes or what's considered men's clothes, but men are not allowed to dress in anything other than men's clothes. It should just be like normalized across the board. I think it is getting pretty normalized actually. I, I noticed more and more men wearing like uh, stuff that would mostly be considered feminine when I was a kid. I'm not wearing a dress. You don't have to. I don't want to wear a dress either. But I think I should be allowed to without, you know, any issue. Nail polish is big with guys. Nail polish is big with guys now, it seems. Yeah, I'm noticing that more than anything. Yeah, nail polish. People that sandals were feminine at one point. Did they really? Damn. Too much noise. They're still missing a vital piece of the puzzle. To be fair, back in the day, women who wore pants were called names. Yeah, and and we need to get over that with men wearing like skirts, I guess. I always thought that um, when I was a teenager, I always thought that how we'd get there with progression is remember when the, like it was really fashionable in like it was it the late 90s or was it the the early 2000s? It was really fashionable to walk around for men to walk around with really really like long ass baggy t-shirts and their pants like tied around their fucking knees with a belt. Like to me, that was just a that was a dress, and you just didn't want to admit it. And I always thought that's how that's how we would get there was that people would just stop wearing the fucking jeans tied around their fucking knees. Just just go with the t-shirt, man. I always thought that's how we'd get there. Maybe that is how we got there. I don't know. In my punk phase, I never wore the jeans that low, but I did wear really, 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 really baggy jeans. Had a had a big chain with my keys on the chain that I would hook on walking around with my rocker hoodie on. Do you a punk face? I dyed my hair um, highlight blonde when I was a teenager. It looked like a bird shat in my hair. I even knew it looked bad and I was like, ah, fuck it. <laughs> uh, that's on Jin Jinko jeans. I don't know what those are, sorry. Frosted tips, not like just the tips, just kind of like, like just a, a mess of like some of my hair was blonde. It looked awful. Looking good, York. I think it looked cute, actually. Aw, oh, thanks, Mom. Oh, is it time to run? Running minigame?
Imagine being Iron Wrath right now. Oh, thank you. Oh no, he got me! Oh no, he got me! Oh, I'm laughing like when I'm on Jads. All right, let's get through it. I wish Val was a Switch emote. What character could we turn and have our, our, our own Val? Joms? Joms. Where are you hiding? Oh, do we have to do this now? What is Val? Val is basically like, like BWL or LUL, but like you're really laughing. Like it's really funny. Like you actually laughed. If you Val and you, and you didn't actually laugh, then you're insane. Whereas an LUL or like a LOL can be like, you know what? Like I, I admit that that was funny. Maybe it got me a little smirk. Maybe I exhaled it on my nose a little bit, you know? But Val is like, you, you actually laughed. Guess I'm insane. Really? You Val without laughing? Wow. Wow. That's like lamaoing without laughing. You can't type L-M-A-O and you're not laughing. Because if you're not laughing, just type a lol. Unless it's sar a sarcastic lamaio. You can have a sarcastic lamaio. Just like you can be like pilled, enjoyer, head, stan. Like, there's like, haha. And then like, like lol, lowercase, lol. Lulz, capital lol, omega lol, vowel. And then at the top is like, you're laughing so hard that you can't even type anything. Yeah, look under there. Under the table. Maybe we should rank them. Because I'm not sure where a lot of these rank together. Where uh, equals Keck is probably is around the, the LUL, right? Equals Keck is like, I understand that this is funny, but you know what? I didn't laugh. Uh-oh, we're in a corridor. Time to fight one of those like things that goes on the wall. Oh. Yes, finally! I did it! I finally evaded one right away. Oh. Oh, why aren't you... Wait, hold on. Hold the phone. Hold on. Didn't Mr. Stewart's buddy do that? Helper when we wanted to talk to him? <gasps> Hold the phone. Uh, wait, what are we doing? Man, someone really missed the toilet. <laughs> My icing! Zombies that can sporadically teleport are terrifying. It's like the dragon from, from, from Forspoken. Sorry, Forspoken spoilers. Joe, if you were a vengeful spirit, who would you haunt? My kids, so I could see them grow up. Aww. All right, someone said the shotgun is good against these guys. All right, let's go. Chat, I just want you all to know that we had uh, we had Burger King for lunch today. It was the it was the day of the week where the boys get to pick what we what we got, and um, they wanted Burger King. And uh, there was about, um, I don't know, maybe 10 or 20 french fries left when I was done. And it was already home, I didn't have to take it home, and I put them in the garbage. There was more than 10, 10 to 20 french fries left over, period. And I offered them to the boys, I said, hey, do, do you want any of these fries I'm not going to eat? And they were like, yeah, I'll have some, and then, and then I gave them. And then the ones that they didn't want left over, uh, they just went in the garbage. 10 uneaten french fries, yep. 28 stab wounds. Aren't you a there are starving kids dad? Nope, not even a little bit, complete opposite. My kids don't have to finish their meals. I will encourage them to eat because sometimes you have to do that. Like, hey, why aren't you eating? Why aren't you eating? Stop singing songs, get back in your chair, eat your food. You know, there's not, there's not gonna be any snacks after this. Like if, you, if you're hungry, now's the time to eat. If you're not hungry, you don't have to eat it, you know, but, but yeah. It's good not to force people to finish. So true, so true. 
This is something that might have been inflicted on you and you don't even realize it. This idea that you have to finish all the food on your plate is really toxic and it can lead to really, really bad eating habits. If you are portioning your food correctly and you are someone who like knows how many calories you need, need you know you, you know how to portion food properly and you have you take part of that, then of course, you know, finish your food if, if you know what you're doing. But if you're just eating because no, I have to finish my plate, you might have some bad eating habits. Just save it and eat it later. French fries reheat so badly, and it's like it's like 10 of them. What am I gonna do with 10 french fries? Eat them cold? Why? I'd rather have something good to eat if I'm gonna be consuming more calories than reheated french fries that, like, honestly, sometimes they don't even uh, survive the trip here when we get it delivered. If it was something I really, really, really liked, and it reheated well, then yeah, of course, yeah. And it was like significant enough to like be another meal or a proper snack later, then sure. But 10 french fries is not it. Oh, let's talk about waste too. Like, unless you're eating somewhere that has already given you a bag, do you understand the amount of environmental waste you're adding to be like, oh, please get a bag in a container so I can take my Anne french fry home, please. Like, like what the fuck? Cook here, you chop them up and fry them with a little bit of meat and vegetable, or just fry them on their own as a crouton to put over something else. Alright, cook who saves and french fry. Some For some reason, I don't believe you. You're a cook and you're saving and Burger King french fry to put in with some meat later. There's no fucking way. Hello, cook here. I hope it kills a sea turtle. That last nugget was delicious. <laughs> When did turn in, 10 turn into 1? If he's talking about the 10 specifically, then that's fine. Yeah, okay, That now that's that's a, maybe a little bit more reasonable, but I still don't buy it. Like, it's a fucking Burger King 10-piece french fry. But, like, people in chat are saying they would take the 1 french fry, too. You just want to waste food? It's true, I do. I just want to waste food. Do, 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 do. Um, I don't know what to do. Oh, it's cycled through different colored light. Okay, my bad. Do people enjoy Burger King fries? They're putrid. Better than McDonald's IMO? I think, in general, Burger King fries hold up better. But if when a McDonald's fry is good, it's really, really good. If it's really fresh and, like, you eat it there. But... French fries from McDonald's don't last very long, so if you're getting it um, delivered, it, they're usually garbage. But I really enjoy a McDonald's French fry, like, hot off the, the fryer. Wendy's, Burger King, McDonald's. In general, like, overall the food quality? Mm, I'm not sure if I would agree with that. Wendy's is probably at the top, yeah, but they're all kind of garbage, to be honest. I really enjoy a Wendy's baked potato, though. Wendy's baked potato is really good. Local diner. The local diners can be really hit or miss. I find that most of the places around here all get their food from the same distributor and it's all like prepackaged reheated bullshit that they smother in salt and oil when they put it through their air fryer microwave whatever and it's like oh yeah it tastes good like if you eat it quickly but that's it what if later on you're so close to being sated and only if you had that one last fry that would have been it and now you it's a waste i can't imagine myself being in a situation where where one fry would make the difference in the world. I don't, and even if I was, I don't see myself going, you know what, time to get that french fry out of the fridge, pop it in the air fryer and eat it, and then I will be full. Like the energy I'm expending in order to make that happen, it just isn't worth it. Glad I'm eating during this conversation. Are you gonna finish? One fry, I think even one nug is is ridiculous. Joe, that's not the hypothetical. You suddenly feel full. Ronald, Ronald McDonald will appear and take one fry out of your stomach with rubber gloves, so you will always feel hungry. What? When did this hypothetical? What do you mean that's not the hypothetical? This is the first time I'm reading this. What the fuck are you talking about? What does hypothetical even mean? So hold on. What the hypothetical is, like I, Ronald McDonald. Every time I finish a meal, Ronald McDonald will show up and and take some food out of my stomach that is the exact portion of a French fry. And if only I had a French fry in the fridge to eat, which he will let me eat, then I would be sated, and that's it. Okay, then I guess I'm gonna start like having a like a collection of French fries in my fridge because now you've made it so a fucking clown ghost is haunting me, making me hungry all the time. So yeah, I I guess you win, Lamayo. Like I don't understand what the fuck is this hypothetical. Gotta pay the Ronald McDonald tax because every single time he needs me to eat a french fry at the end of my meals. 
as bad as you. It's not as bad as mine because mine makes you full because people don't understand what full means. If you want to go along and accept, oh, okay, I'm full. I can't eat anymore. Then we don't need to do the insane hypothetical of Ronald McDonald force feeding you, do we? If you were a vengeful ghost, would you take food from people's stomachs? Am I am I able to do that as a ghost power? Because if, yeah, I would I would get bored. I would do all of, the, all of that. Yeah, for sure. Do you prefer Ronald or the weird Happy Meal box mascot thing? I don't, I don't know what that is. What's the weird Happy Meal box mascot thing? The kids can't get Happy Meals and I don't know what that is. Grimace? Isn't the Grimace the, the purple guy? It's the box with eyes. No, his name is Happy. What? It's a new thing. Like the new raincoat killer? Chat, what the fuck are you guys cooking aside from reheated french fries? I felt so betrayed on behalf of my kids last time we got McDonald's. The Happy Meals get here and they're all decorated with Mario movie bullshit. And it's like, because it's like an advertisement for that, like a tie-in and whatever. Mario movie, Mario movie, Mario movie. They open their Happy Meal boxes and the toys weren't Mario. They were like DC comic bullshit or whatever. It's like, what the fuck is this? I feel like the toys have gone downhill since I was a kid. Anyone else disagree? No, they were always bad. I don't think so. There were some cool ones when I was a kid. Burger King had some cool ones too, actually. Now nah, you're just less impressed by garbage? I really don't think so. I really think they've gone a bit downhill. Maybe now and then they have some good ones. This is like people denying uh, shrinkflation. I see you. Oh, cho chocolate portions and everything. Chocolate bars aren't, aren't getting smaller. You're just getting bigger. No, 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 no. They're getting smaller. Shrinkflation. Yeah, it's shrinkflation is... Um, is as, as you get older, chocolate bars are like the chocolate... I hit it. I hit the button. Chocolate bars are getting smaller. Lowering content won't keep the price. Yeah, there you go. That's a fetish. No, it's not. You're thinking of um, something I'm not going to say on stream, but I know what you're talking about. It's most easily seen with um, Cadby's cream eggs, which is a guilty pleasure of mine. I love a cream egg. However, like, okay, is it going to be R? Like they're tiny now. Cereal too. Oh, is it with cereal? I didn't notice it was cereal. Have you considered that maybe you're just getting larger? I, I addressed that already in the piece. This is why I said people deny it. It's a, tr a true phenomenon. Excuse me, have you thought that maybe if you did a playthrough using items and magic that and spirit summons, maybe you would like Elden Ring more? I, I said in the video I fucking did. I did one of those. <laughs> oh no! <laughs> Jerry, you're just fat. I am not that fat. I'm a little husky at the moment, but I'm not that fat. Oh, dodge for no reason. I hate QT so much. You're telling me that when that you think Mars bars that you can go into the store and buy today for the same price, maybe even more money, are are the same size as the ones that you got when you were a kid? Absolutely fucking not. Twix, they're they're tiny now and they cost the same or more. Shrinkflation. Look it up, it's a thing. Get educated. Do your own research. Why do you think they package it now? They they have the oh, you know. If, if you want a, a Mars bar, get the king size because that's two Mars bars in the same, which is like, even those are getting smaller now. They want you to pay more for, for the same thing that you used to get for the original price. Chat, you should be more angry about this than anybody because it means that there's more chocolate for you to put in the fridge after you're done. I'll save that for later. I'll put it with my fry. I'm going to get my fry and I'm going to ram it through the nugget part or the no-get part of the Mars bar, and I'm gonna eat them together. 1-800 French fries, they can't have my food. I need special fries. Here, here's your special fries. My fries! All right, we're gonna play. Oh, we're gonna play. Oh, wouldn't ice pick, okay. Hmm? This isn't how they taught me to use ice picks. No siree. What is this line? Fridge chocolate bar is the best way to consume it. Absolutely not. No, 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 cold chocolate is garbage. What are you doing? You want the chocolate to melt in your mouth a little bit because it adds more surface area over the tongue so it activates more of the, of, of the taste buds while you're eating it. Now, some chocolate might be better cold. I'm not gonna deny that. I, I've never had every single chocolate bar in the world, obviously. Maybe there's even one I would prefer cold, all right? But the chocolate's supposed to melt a little bit and spread out over the tongue. It still doesn't, no it doesn't, it's fucking cold. 
Maybe if it's like a crunchy chocolate bar, it's better. I don't know. Have you ever tried frozen Cheetos? What the fuck are you talking about? You are min maxing eating chocolate? I, I mean, no, I'm just not like minning it. I'm not maxing it. I'm just not minning it by putting it in the fridge. Do you have to go see the dentist after eating frozen Cheetos? <laughs> Would that even have hit us? Oh, for Why? Why are they so obsessed with this in this section? Have you ever had flake chocolate? Those are good cold. You mean the chocolate that specifically like breaks apart as you chew into it and then it spreads out all over your tongue? That's good cold. Also, it's gonna have very small pieces that are gonna melt much easier. Hmm, curious. How cute, oh, is he chasing? What if I'm on it when he breaks it? It might crash actually, might it? Yeah, let's go down. Cook here, you can enjoy chocolate more if it's cold because it takes longer to melt in your mouth and every piece lasts longer. Okay, that I can get on board with, but I don't think that's what people are saying. I think people are saying that stick into, what? I think people are saying they like to take chocolate cold from the fridge and just like they chew through it, ang, 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 and then that's it. And it like stays in smaller chunks. It's like it's like they're they're swallowing like, like cho cho chunks of chocolate gravel instead of it melting. No one said that. Then why, no, they are, because if they weren't saying that, they would have agreed immediately that the melted chocolate is the better taste. That's what you just assumed? It's not assumed. I said that chocolate's better when it melts in your mouth and has spreads on the surface area and people call me an idiot. So no one's letting it melt in their mouth. Who eats just melted chocolate? Who's saying That's that I'm melting the saying. chocolate before I eat it? Whoever made it's normal room perfect. temperature chocolate. Chat, uh, Joe, do you keep your ice cream at room temperature because it's gonna melt anyway? Ice cream is like a fucking liquid. It's already like like being able to spread all over the tongue just naturally in its fucking frozen state. The secret room. Oh, this is the place where we got the photographs. Okay, shut up, chat. We're actually doing the main story. One second. We'll get back to riffing in a second. That looks like a fun outfit. Zach. Okay, so it's not bonus footage. It's still part of the the music the is exactly who I thought it was. First things first. We better let poor Nick go. Oh. Okay. That wouldn't work, by the way. Is that padding on the, the dress there? That's a a nice detail. Or a surprisingly like included detail. Well, I hope this is handled well. Zach view? Yes. Previously during the investigation. Okay, that's Zach. Zach. Let's pay Harry another visit and get to the bottom of all this. And that one. That, and that one too. All red seats. Welcome, New York. Welcome. Killings 50 years ago. There is something about it that you won't find written in those files. The people were attacking and killing each other, rampaging as though insane. Quite a story. York, I told you, it's nothing more than local folklore. What does that all mean? It's called the legend of the new raincoat killer. York, we found Thomas. Zach, okay, so it's not bonus footage. It's still part of the main feature. Perpetrator is exactly who I thought it was. Was perpetrator spelled right there? Oh, that's weird. Yeah, it is break time, but... Dad? Like... 
Can we stop it here? Come on, boy, or it'll be too late. This feels so awkward. Did they shrink the trees down? What is this? All right, let's take a break. I'll be back in five minutes. Go get a drink. I'm gonna go get some chocolate out of the fridge and put it in the microwave. streamer doesn't value your time i'm allowed a break what the hell you need to take a break too you shouldn't be sitting for two hours you missed content what did i miss okay so cold chocolate and jo Daddy. Daddy. there are there are idle things okay cold cold chocolate enjoyers all right cold chocolate enjoyers allow me to restate your position as i understand it and you clarify where i am wrong okay so you think that chocolate is better if it's in from the fridge because you can pop it in your mouth and it'll it'll last longer and you allow it to taste it for longer because it takes longer to melt longer it can percolate in your mouth a little bit and you get to enjoy it for longer or do you think that chocolate tastes better cold? If you are saying that you want it cold so it lasts longer and it can percolate in your mouth for longer, okay, I can understand that. I, I agree with that. I don't, uh, sorry, I don't agree with it. I'm not gonna do it, but I can see where you're coming from. I have no issue. But saying that so chocolate tastes better cold is what I thought people were saying, and I cannot agree with that at all. The texture is better cold to me. That's, why, why are you eating chocolate for texture? Do you eat calorie-free chocolate? It's just a it's a, just a texture experience for you. You eat everything for this. No, you fucking don't. You eat it for taste as well. Texture can be important. You just said it. Texture can be important. Yeah, of course, texture can be important. But this is not the whole the whole thing. That's why I said. So you don't. Do you care less about the taste of the chocolate? Are you happy? Will you happily eat like zero calorie, like like basic ass, like kind of yuck, bland chocolate for the texture of it? You can say no. Oh, this keeps happening. Oh, okay. It just tastes the same and has better It absolutely does not taste the same. It tastes way longer. It takes way longer to melt and unlock the flavor. If it tastes the same, people wouldn't be saying, I like it better because it tastes better. I want to lose at least one tooth when I buy my chocolate. Yeah, I didn't even get to that. Like, like the, the, the tooth um, concerns about biting into cold chocolate. Like, holy shit. If it's a really thin chocolate, okay, it's not really that, a con that much of a concern. But like, holy, you put, a, you put a Yorkie bar in the fucking fridge? Like, at, at that point, it's a chocolate flavored fucking toothpick or like a tooth filer. Like, what the fuck are you doing? Tooth concerns? You ever bitten into like cold chocolate? Like a thick cold chocolate? Like a crunchy? Dark chocolate, but dark, cho dark fucking chocolate. D dark chocolate sucks. Actually the worst chocolate. Not even close. It's awful. Okay, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Maybe, maybe this is the issue. Maybe dark chocolate tastes better in the fridge because it softens the horrible taste of it so you can focus on the texture. Maybe that's it. Dark chocolate fucking sucks. The only dark chocolate that's good is in those after eight mints. Toddler taste, llama. I love it. I love it. Like whenever someone like doesn't like something, you could just be like, oh, infantile taste. Blah, 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 blah. While discussing a chocolate treat. He didn't force himself, himself to like something that tastes inherently gross. What a fucking childish take. Do you buy expensive chocolate? I don't even eat chocolate that much. You literally only like sweets. I don't eat that many sweets. What the fuck are you talking about? You don't know me at all. Brian Xander Morgan. Oh, it's a card. Okay. Mr. Brian Xander Morgan. You are going to catch the killer. And this scene isn't filler. So says Grandpa Stewart. Mr. Stewart's father. Oh, he doesn't like beer and Fantalte. Yeah, beer sucks too, man. Although I will say I haven't had a lot of beers in my life, but every single beer I've had is like, this is fucking gross. So maybe there is a good beer I would like. What? What What about that is confusing? Every beer I've ever had has been gross, and I don't understand why people enjoy it. But if I had a good Daddy. beer, I would change my mind. Daddy. You probably Daddy. enjoy wine, don't you? Beer just like, I don't really like wine either, no. Have you tried German beer before? I'm gonna say yes just to piss Are you off. You okay? <laughs> Mommy? 
Oh, Emily's dead. Beer only tastes good in the pub. Okay, I I have never had draft beer. Is draft beer superior? Is is when when you go to a bar or a pub and they get the draft thing and they pull the lever down and it goes. Is that like the glass bottle Coke of beer? Is, like, does it taste better like when delivered like that instead of like, oh, here's a bottle, here's a can. Oh, everyone's here. The gang's all here. Honestly, cheapest beer tastes the best. Draft shit is overrated. Wow, what in Fantel taste? You Literal child? Someone, oh, everyone loves Kaysen. <laughs> Why do things keep breaking? Oh, maple syrup, nice. Grandpa Francis Mork, you're good. Sorry, my dear, I must have fallen asleep. That's enough napping for today. Tell me the rest of the story. Yes, of course. That was our promise, wasn't it? Before I continue on, though... That bear has no feet. I've got a little gift I want to give you. Severed feet bear. Wow. It's pretty. Consider it a protective charm like a signpost that is york for sure lead you through your life a look at the facial structure post? at the bottom that's york for sure one day my dear you will find out one of the truths of this world that the world is filled with contradiction and inequality true wait is that the, that day comes, is it the same jpeg dog from respond. from ace combat what do you do that's the Ace Combat Dog! It will be the instant that determines the value of your life. This pendant will show you the way in that moment. The value of my life? Yes, dear. I can't, I can't the hear them at all. of your life. I have faith that you will grow up into a woman who can make the right choices. Do you understand, Emily? Maybe that's Emily's flashback and she's seeing York as a father figure. Like we just saw Emily as a mother figure in our flashback when we were a child. We come toward the climax. As the angel do, do, said, do, 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 do. I was soon fated to meet him. What do you think of those dreams, Zach? The sound so effect is not I looping properly. Emily. What about you? We should take this opportunity and talk about this a bit. If I hadn't seen your come into the bar, well, you wouldn't have found this place, would you? Now, how about that? I guess I've always been lucky when luck was needed. That's why I've been able to stay in business, too. Although we have Willie to thank for finding this room, I suppose. He's got a great nose. Clever, too. He'd be a great businessman if he wanted to be. Business dog. I owed you guys one anyway. And I owed York big time, too. You guys didn't tell anyone about that whole thing with Diane. I want to help you guys out. Is there anything I can do? Kaysen, I appreciate the offer, but this is a police matter. You can leave everything to us from here. Hmm. Oh, well, okay. George, look. Blood? These cigarettes. They're the same brand that York smokes. He's definitely been here. Carol's been missing since the bar closed last night. This town will be deserted if this keeps up. Yeah, it survived worse. How many people died on that night with the fog, what do you think? What do you think is really happening here in Greenvale? Emily, let's focus on looking for York. Cigarettes are best smoked if they come from the I fridge, right? I hope there are more Cold leads cigarettes? than a cigarette butt around here. Tastes way better. Hey, Willie, of you course! You joke, but my mom put cigs in the you freezer. You can track his scent, can't you, boy? What do you think, officers? Let him help you out, why don't you? Oh, he'd make a fine police dog. Hey, I told you're, you you're one of them, need. right? Sounds good, Jason. You like fridge from the chocolate. We need all the, the help we can chocolate get. from the fridge, right? Come on, George. Yeah, Let's I know you do. That's why I know. They are civilians. So do you have a Does better plan? Does it taste plan? better, or is it that it As takes longer to melt? York might be. And you can enjoy it for longer. Both, but, but I think it tastes, it tastes better. Get the fuck out of here. Yeah, you see that 
<laughs> Can't believe this shit. <sighs> uh, all right. Let's have them help. Thank you, George. But one thing. With York missing in action, I'm back in charge. And York would give me hell if something bad happened to you guys. So promise What's going me on in the game right now? Call for backup at the first sign of danger. Yes, of course. Why stop at fridge? Put it in the freezer. Missing something here. So I'm going to look around a bit longer. You go with Kaysen and follow York's trail. Thank you, George. We're counting on you, boy. Welcome to the force, Deputy Willie. <laughs> Why stop at the freezer? Put it in your ass with way too many S's. Let's get rolling then. <laughs> okay, I'm counting on you, Willie. Oh, not counting on me though, are you? Sheesh. Who are we playing as now? The dog? Oh, we're Emily now. What the hell's this? Oh, she hears this music all the time. Oh, we run faster than York. Now, this girl has no butt, huh? No room for chocolate. Oh, she's way fitter than York too. Probably because she doesn't smoke. She can run forever. Check the pole. I can't. The the ass pin is is stuck on it, and I also can't alt tab out without losing the whole game. So I can't. Damn, kaysen has got the stam for a big guy, huh? You could have chat open on your phone. I could not actually because I don't have my phone. And secondly, every single time I try to get onto Twitch on my phone, it's like a fucking dice roll whether or not it's gonna let me go or it's gonna say you have to have the app. And because it works some of the time, I don't want to give them the satisfaction of downloading the app because it wants me to sign in too to use the app. I don't want to sign in on my phone. I keep my phone separate. I even deleted the, I even deleted Discord off my phone because one day I almost posted some 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 pictures that he were on my album. He can be a little selfish, but he's a good dog. Because my finger slipped with me all this time. They were Legitimately all had a heart attack. The bad. How long have you been together? Do, oh, oh, we're stopping talking about the dog. Okay. Do, 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 do. I can't even remember a time when he wasn't around. I had a dog when I was small do, do, do. too. He was a beagle, do, do, do. so we named him B. Stupid name, I know. This is he really hated dumb, being yeah. left alone and always followed me around. I could tell him anything, even things I couldn't tell my parents. He'd look into my eyes and listen intently to anything I had to say. It's like he sympathized, and he didn't make fun of me. He would just listen. When I was done talking, he'd put a paw on my What's back. the better song, chat? Gonna Catch a Killer or Time to Have a Coffee? Made me feel like I was just a fool for worrying so much. <laughs> Those are the only two choices? Oh, yeah. Sometimes I think they got a lot more wisdom than us humans. Even if they are betrayed, well, they don't see it that way. Sure sounds foolish, but you know dogs, why they're always happy. I'm positive that even if man perishes off the face of the earth, dogs, why they'll just carry on. Can you see the poll? No, I can see the poll, but I, can't, I can see the question. I can't see the answer. From their dog houses, they look out and they see what humans do. Kaysen. Oh look, Deputy Willie's calling for us. True, there was a it's bug with Discord like at one point where on my mobile, when you send an image, it showed the second image from your phone gallery has been uploaded. I lost my fucking shit. Oh my god! Sometimes I sent photos on my phone on Discord, and it would have been like fucking like, oh, here's an accidental picture of my kids along with it. Like, holy fuck. Hey, where are you going? Deputy Willie, he's over here. Come on, hurry! Gonna catch a killer. The Rinko Killer. The new Rinko Killer. The curse of Greenvale, gonna catch a killer. Buddy Zack is gonna hell. So that's the killer one. And then the, the other one is time to have a coffee or maybe a mocha, maybe straight black. I don't, I haven't got the lyrics messed up yet. Like ironed out yet. Time to Thomas, have a coffee. I know that you're there. Gonna Your help disposition me is not case. of my concern, but you do need to I think the coffee this. one has potential. Me. Let me go right now. And you and Carol should take off. Go as far away as you can. Open Americana. A bar What's Americana? Or a diner in a new town. With your cooking, I know you do well. Mm -hmm. It's true. Why, thank you, York. Oh, he's You're so kind. He's insane I'm now. Like Great. Okay, cool. Him. If I had someone like you, things may not have come to this. York, have you ever been in love with someone? Thomas, a long time ago, I witnessed two people that I really cared about die. Your mom and dad? Both pretty much at the same time. And since then, 
I've tried not to care about anyone so deeply, but recently that way of thinking has changed. Emily, right? She's a nice girl. But I must warn you, York. You'd be better off not falling in love with her. Thomas, considering the circumstances, whatever I say might not be important to you, but I'll say it anyways. Don't you dare touch Emily. I don't care you broke your elbow. York, I think I've said too much. It's natural to respond when someone talks to you, I guess. True. Everything will end tonight. You just stay there until then. Wait, is Thomas the real killer or is the fake guy? I don't think Thomas is the real killer, no. I think Thomas is working with the killer or is wrapped up in the killer in some way. I don't know who the killer is, though. Oh, wait, are we going to the police station? It's the only one that's open. Oh, it looks like we are. Oh, we're not. Hey, FBI headquarters. It's me, Emily. Uh, York's busy right now, but here's my report. Yeah, thank you. Hey, where are you going? Deputy Willie, he's over here. No, he's Come not. On, hurry. He's not. Want to make an educated case on the BS that you've seen? The only person that has sent up the killer flags is George. And I don't see how it could be George, because George already showed his back. So maybe he What's has like wrong? a special thing that only Something shows up when the rain you. comes out, maybe? Oh, no. Like, I don't know. So I don't think I so. I don't think that's it. But that's the only one who's given up any flags. What's that got to do with anything? Sorry, I'm yeah, talking about right. being too much. This just isn't the time, I know. But it's, well, she reminds me of my mother who passed away. Kaysen. I've been a salesman for a long, long time. York's missing, by the way. time to talk with my mother, you know. Sales, they were the thing for me. No matter what happened, this was more important. So even when she was sick, I put more energy into my work, which I regret now. And you know, when I heard she died, I was, I was on my way home, all happy. I closed a big deal in Jersey. Just when you want to give something back, you got no one to give it back to. Well, that, that's when I met her, Polly. I thought heaven had given me another chance. Wait, it really did. What's so I always stay in that hotel whenever I come up here. Oh, sure, the rooms are great, but, but in all honesty, I go there because I want to talk with Polly. Does Polly know all this? No, no way. I'd never say anything so embarrassing to her. She'd think I've got some crazy mother complex or something. You do. Billy's like, let's go, come on. Right, let's get going. Deputy do, Willie do, disapproves do, do, of any chit chat. Do. I'll make it up to Polly some other time, I guess. <sighs> Never be a mother in the DP universe. Never be a parent in any piece of media ever. 99% of all media is just people with mommy and daddy issues because mommy and daddy have to die to give them a tragic backstory. The worst thing you can be is a parent. You are a parent in my Twitch media? Oh no. I died from eating chocolate. You have to stop people from Zach, eating hungry, chocolate cold from the fridge. Too much about that at the Do moment. Do it for me. Thomas is certainly a great cook. It's a shame to keep his cooking hidden out here in the countryside. Don't you think so, Zach? He's so obsessed with the... Which reminds me. There's another great cook in town. What's she cooking? To fall in love with her would mean that I would need to love her cooking, too. Wait. Why does God test us so, I wonder? That coffee she made. Man, did that pack a punch. I wish you could have tasted it, Zach. He did. This game is so weird, man. Hey, what the fuck is happening? True, he's he's kidnapped, like bound in a chair, blindfolded, and he's like, you know what? Tom, the person who kidnapped me, he really is a good cook, though. You know, I meant it when I said that to him. But you know what? Emily, what about her cooking? Yeah, let's think about the future. Like, he's insane. I love it, actually. He's so insane. <laughs> We're just running after a dog and having hearts to heart on the way. <laughs> what the fuck is this? It's only a hunch now, but I don't think Nick killed Diane. Well, actually, you see York and, Day, and Diane. Day? We were Ryan Gosling for both of them. Pretty close. I'm sure right. some people might have moral issues about it all, but I'd like to think that I knew her pretty well. Every time we we finished talking, she'd bring up art. I'd make a face, you know, boring. And she'd always say, you're so different from Nick. He's so much more intelligent. Sounds like something she'd say. <laughs> Nick was one of the few people who she could talk to, you know. And vice versa for Nick, I suppose. Diane also told me that she was best friends with Nick. He'd have nothing at all to gain by killing her. I can't believe that one would try to kill the other. I just can't. But even the best of friends can end up in the worst fights. Still, the voices and footsteps I heard that night they were something else, much more 
violent, more, more horrifying. Diane's voice sounded different, too. Different? Hard to explain. Of course, I, I couldn't make out what she was saying. You told York all this? Of course I did. What did he say? I, I know, that's fine. Something like that. <laughs> Maybe it's like a different killer every Let's time, go. and they're just releasing the fog Diane's and making them killer. kill each other. She was acting crazy when uh, when she was doing the art speech thing with her tongue out. Dan's like, Kason, you're really dumb. I really admire that in the man. Dog should have stopped to pee on that. Missed the beat. Zach, about Emily. Don't you feel almost nostalgic looking at her? I don't think I've ever felt that way looking at a woman. Before. She literally reminds you of your mother. No, I'm wrong. It's a long time ago now. Here it comes. Do you remember that incident, Zach? Anyways, I was very surprised when she came to my hotel room. Not in a funny way. Don't get me wrong. It was really exciting, though. I thought I heard my heart thumping inside. You know, it's inappropriate during an investigation, right, Zach? Is she a secret sister? No, no. The six-year-old man is crushing so hard. I, I honestly like think that this might be the first time he's ever felt any interest in a woman before. Like I don't think he's ever had a romance in his life. Maybe he does this with a woman on every case. It would be inappropriate. Anyone he meets could be a, a killer, so he might have to do an F FBI investigation on anyone he meets. Therefore, they could be involved in any case. It's not appropriate. Remember the beginning when he was discussing Tom and Jerry? Come a long way since then. Are you close to the Ingrams? No. I mean, well, I always say hi when I see them at their store. Don't you think they make a wonderful family? <laughs> York's missing! I guess so. Including Jim, I suppose they do. <laughs> Indeed they do. The ideal family, I'd say. The you know that killer? I look after the Isaac and Isaiah pretty often, right? They talk a lot when I take them out. Yesterday, Mama and Papa, and this morning, Grandpa. Always about their family. Just listening to them makes me feel so happy. I don't have any brothers, you know. Maybe I'm a little jealous of those two. That's why when I come here, I always pay them a visit. Yep. Greenvale is really like a second home to me. I can tell. <laughs> Deputy Willie's calling again. Enough about me. Let's get going. What would these lyrics be? We never get this far, usually. Back to York? For some reason in the darkness, <laughs> I see Emily's face. Fucking weird. When I first met her on the bridge, she looked so dignified. And that glimmer in her eyes when she argues every word I say. Her blonde hair lit by the dawn, eating steak at the diner, giving me directions in the car. The horror on her face in the gallery. That coffee she made, and it's like she's a goddess in a tight dress. Zach, let's pray that she doesn't become a real goddess. <laughs> I still don't know if that flashback when everyone killed each other in the town when the military set up a a, a, a fucking uh, psychotic fog weapon. I don't even know if that's real. What's going on? Really makes you feel like you got infected with the biological warfare. What What the fuck is this? Oh, we're going to the clock tower. Oh. Willie, York is nearby? Oh, you love Good him job, too? Lee. Can we stop running now, please? York, thinking you had been kidnapped and killed, it really made me realize I love you. Huh, I love you too, despite that coffee. Every day in the relationship. Yeah, that coffee you made, remember that coffee? Never gonna make me another coffee. Hey, so we took the long route here. You weren't playing with us, were you? George, we found out where York is. No, no, no we haven't. George? George! Kason, I'm going in alone. Hey, hey, you didn't forget what George said. No, I haven't. And that's why you get to stay out here and keep trying to contact him. I'm just going to check things out. I'll stay out of danger. Wait. Trust me. Are we, are we gonna okay, shoot zombies? if you say so. I'll take care of this here. 
If Joe raids someone again, the raid message should definitely be saxophone elephant. Oh, that sounds funny. Let's do that today. We'll find someone to raid. The saxophone elephant squad has arrived. Okay, if we shoot zombies now in another hallucination like York has as Emily, that's unacceptable. <gasps> if tendrils appear... Freeze. What? How the fuck? Stop right there. Stop. <gasps> what the hell? Are you not going to talk to anyone about this after it? Okay, I'm so invested right now. What's going on? I'm so invested. I thought it was all in his head. What's going on? York, Emily is here. Time to say goodbye then. Thomas, let me tell you one more time. Your cooking is great. It's not too late. <laughs> I can help you. Just untie me and let me go. If you don't, the situation will be irreversible, unfixable. York, no situation is reversible. Didn't you know that? Everyone, everything proceeds along a path preordained by fate. So it doesn't matter what you do. Just do whatever. It literally doesn't matter. Goodbye, then. I wonder who'll be the next person to open this door. Well, whoever that person is will be the one to decide your fate. Oh, is there like a jigsaw puzzle in this room? Like, like from Saw? What was I supposed to say? All I can do now is wait. Hello, Emily. I want to play a game. In front of you in the chair is Mr. Francis York Morgan. In order to see him, you must find the microphone in this room and speak into it that your cooking and your coffee was not very good. If you don't, he'll be ripped apart by a bomb. Live or die, make your choice. I can't do it, York. It's not true. It is true, Emily. You have to do it. But it's not true. It would be a lie. No, it wouldn't be a lie. You have to say it. Even if you don't say it in the microphone, I would just like to hear it. We move so fast. I, I, I'm, I'm, there's, there's no way that we're not going to talk about the zombies after this, right? Wait, we're, we're up? I thought we were down. Are we, wait, where are we? Oh, it's the purple fog. Do, 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 do. Ooh. Your own door opening animation when running? Anyone else still stunned about that, that wheelchair animation? Her hair doesn't cast a shadow. Okay, why would we need to sleep? Whoa, this looks like it's from a different game all of a sudden. She looks so much like Naomi Watts there. You sure took your time. Holy shit. Is that who they base the character on? <laughs> Thomas, you've got nowhere to run now. Just surrender yourself. Emily, I've been waiting for you. In my swimsuit. Where's York? Is he okay? <laughs> He's quite the handsome one, isn't he? I liked him the moment I saw him. He likes someone else, of course. Who do you think that is? Hmm? I'm asking you if he is okay. Answer me. Nice lip syncing there. Oh, yes. He is handsome. But me and okay. Carol... Is this the Polly we love Not him, but a different person. My lovely G. Cut the crap. Do you know George? what you're doing? I do. All too well. Far better than you do, I think. You know nothing about yourself, nor this town. Please don't make me shoot you. King George? He really is the king? <laughs> You're a silly, sad little woman. Whoa. We're heading for devastation. All of us. The eyes. And no one can stop it. <laughs> oh, crying. Okay. Oh, Thomas. You're sick. But there's still time. We can get you help. I'll help you. You're too kind, Emily. 
as kind as a goddess. That's why he likes you. This town is soiled, and only you are shining in it. That's right, Thomas. The clock Let's so just fast? leave here together. It was so much better back then. We had so much fun. Emily, that was before you came. <gasps> I won't let you have him. How old's Thomas? You filthy pig! pig, pig, pig. Die, bitch! You won't have it your way! I won't let you take him! I'll show you how serious I am! I'll turn you into hamburger meat! <laughs> oh no, he's a cook! As a cook, my threat about turning you to hamburger meat. Okay, I kinda like the creativity of the of the jumping around the uh the cogs. That's neat. That hurt. That that hurt! <laughs> Thomas, don't make me shoot again. Surrender and turn yourself in. <laughs> Emily. Emily, I... <laughs> Thomas. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm so sorry. <laughs> That's enough, Thomas. Just come over here. <laughs> I don't believe. I don't believe I just... <laughs> He's gonna jump. He's gonna jump through the window. I hate you so much. Die, you skanky swine! <laughs> Get away! Get away from me! Get off! Oh, Willie, catch, catch the knife in your mouth, please. Rules of Nature begins playing. Uh oh. I knew by grabbing your hand in my in my mouth and wrestling the knife around you that it would go up in the air, spin around, and then get you in the chest. Falls on another spike below. <laughs> spike crumbles, falls down on another spike. <laughs> oh, that spike breaks down into a pit full of gasoline tanks, blows up, oh, flies back God. through the clock tower. What the fuck he is this? like a strung up jerky. Kason, how'd you get past the zombies? Zach, was that a gunshot? <laughs> I hope nothing terrible has happened. Oh, it's the dog! <laughs> Emily? <laughs> hey, Willie. Are you here with your owner? Do, 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 Hello, Emily. It's time to play a game. <laughs> no, it's it's not Emily. It's the dog came in. It, this is pre-recorded. It's a save York. You must admit. <laughs> no, no, you don't understand. <laughs> This the last hour of this game has been wild. What the fuck? Right, here we go. Let's save it. Do 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 do. Are they having some a lore dump while Willie went ahead? Hey. Can I light a cigarette, York? Here we go. Da, 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 da. York, are you okay? I'm fine. 
Got to spend some quality time with Zack. I heard gunshots. Did you get our man? York. Thomas is dead. I shot him. He tried to kill me. Thomas. I suppose that this is the fate you talked about. But Emily, what about the murderer? I just told you I had to shoot Thomas. Thomas's actions may have surprised you, I understand that. But our job is to catch the killer, isn't it? You didn't let the killer get away. York, are you saying that Thomas was not responsible for the murders? <laughs> what? <laughs> what? Oh, that makes no sense. Emily, are you Emily ask him about the zombies! Thomas was certainly neck deep in this. He's neck deep in something else right now. But he didn't kill the girls. He has concrete alibis for all three murders. He also doesn't have the reverse peace symbol on his back. That's true, yep. These are basic facts that for sure you haven't forgotten. Then who? I need you to be strong, Emily. If Thomas is not the killer, then there is only one other possibility. It's you. The only one with free access to the department files and doesn't have an alibi at the time of the killings. Love G himself. George? But he George doesn't have the thing on, is the killer? He doesn't have on his back. <laughs> And since when did you start thinking this? I wasn't sure to start with, but you saw the pictures, right? In that secret room in Carol's bar. That was when I became 100% positive. But George didn't have the tattoo on his back. Ah, right. He doesn't have a tattoo on his back, but there is a pattern there. What do you mean? Emily, I'm not saying that the pattern was the tattoo. Remember what Harry said. There isn't a single thing that can maintain its shape for eternity. And George's back is a perfect example. Hey, you two. Could you explain this so I can understand what's going on? What? Emily, come in. He had it removed Emily and then here. put back in for every killing. I rescued Agent York from the clock tower. <laughs> Thomas is dead. I was forced to shoot him. I see. And you two are both all right? Uh, York is a little weak, but we're heading back to the department now. Okay, I'll do the same. Oh, he's evil George now! His voice has changed. Okay, we know. It's it's confirmed. Did they do it on purpose, or is it like when a voice actor learns that their character is now Emily, evil? George is a friend of yours, isn't he? Yeah, friends a bit much. Yes. Then what we are about to do is going to be tough to deal with. Are you willing to go through with this? York, I'm Deputy Sheriff. This might be a small town, but I take pride in that. It's my duty to make sure that we catch all the bad guys in Greenvale. Even if it means facing an end that I would never have hoped for. Okay. Then let's get moving. This case is going to end at the Sheriff's Department. Wait, I'm gonna be out of a job? Okay, never mind that. I'm not I'm not doing it. Do 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 This is madness! Willie, come on. Let's go with it. Chickening out now would be like leaving after eating the appetizers. And when's Willie gonna start talking? Still haven't brought up the zombies. Still haven't brought up the zombies. All right. Cool, cool, cool. Do, 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 do. Whoa, what were we doing in the car? Okay, Casey, did you have a nap? Emily, I'm going in from the front. You secure the back. Okay. What should I do? Kason, stay at the entrance. No, don't cut me out now. If this was a movie, I'd be some minor nameless character. And I thought I was the cheerful sidekick that helped solve the case. Okay. Are we finishing today? I have no idea. Maybe we are. Hmm? I didn't mean to focus so hard on it. I thought I was doing some side quests sprinkled in here and there, but maybe maybe we are. Profiling start. The return of First Broken Fridays on a Friday? Mm. Oh, Emily, no! Emily's deet! She's deet! So George has been doing all this shit and then just standing out in the rain waiting for us to show up being like, oh, I didn't hear anything. Here we go. Like, is George like blacking out and doing origami? Zach, I thought we might get a warm welcoming. Is he putting a wig on? Because the hair wasn't right. Is he putting like ritualistic paint on his back for to recreate his tree punishment? What the fuck is going on? Not a soul in sight, though. I doubt if it would have a, would have a soul to speak of. Episode 4, 22, The Throne of Abyss. 
This man made us find his, his dumbbells. He, he bonded with us over a drink and was lying. That's breaking the bro code. He really is a monster. You can't break the bro code. Oh, crackers. Nice. It's only right that DP ends with an attack from both sides. That's true, yeah? Yep. Yeah. We're taking the front and Emily's taking the back. Yeah, that's true. Someone is upset. You know what? I'm starting to think that maybe his mom isn't even sick at home. He's been picking us up and driving us everywhere. Okay, it's very dirty. All right, we're changing back into, into normal, normal York. Expelled? What does that say? Expoiled? Exposed? I don't think so. Oh no! What, what the fuck was that sound effect? That sounded like a Bugs Bunny thing. Why are we crawling? He sounded like SpongeBob SquarePants for a second. Bullseye. Joe, I love you, I love you too. Wait, we, we mean Bullseye, we didn't even shoot. Oh, are we gonna go in the secret the secret door behind the bed? Yes. Yes, we are. Okay, thank you, York. Why is the saxophone elephant? Because throughout the game, a, an elephant shows up and starts playing the, sax the, the saxophone. It's part of the soundtrack. Let's get some sac saxophone elephants in the chat. Let's go, come on. Show your appreciation to the elephant that is keeping us entertained with, uh, with their music. It's also practice for the raid later. We're going to raid someone and just surprise them with saxophone elephants. And who fucked it up? I saw it. Snap, that's going in my cringe compilation. Man, Mila is like Great. such a crybaby. She's the biggest crybaby. Most of the time, the, the three kids before, if they cried, like we could figure out why, she, why they were crying. Like we could work through it. It was usually for a reason. Mila just cries for no reason. I feel bad for her, man. God damn it, it's fine on my end, skill issue. Oh, it's the raincoats. Way too obvious. Don't worry, Sir Culprit. We'll find you soon enough. Oh, they were here all along. Was the squirrel quest uh, foreshadowing earlier? Hi, Joseph. When are you going to address the Botox allegations? I have I have never done Botox. But if I felt like I needed it, I would do it. I don't give a shit. Threat yeah, I'm threatening to do Botox. I black out and do Botox. When will you do a smoking stream? Never. Why would I smoke? I'm hot enough already. Sleeping stream one. I would get so many views. It's locked, I need a key to open. Did I not get all the keys? Oh, we are going through that door. He calls himself a dad, yet he hasn't done a grilling stream yet. Curious. Not only have I not done a grilling stream, I have I have never grilled. I would love to grill. I would want to do it, but um, like we don't really have the, the right facilities to do some grilling. But I feel bad that I haven't. I want to do some grilling. I've never done grilling. If you're talking about grilling inside the house with like like an electric grill in the kitchen or whatever, or like grilling on the stove, or I don't know how you would do that. Then okay, I've grilled. But in terms of like barbecue grilling outside, I've never grilled. Do you have grass in your yard? Who grills on their front yard? Who goes out and is like, you know what? I want everyone to know I'm grilling and walking by, oh look, I'm grilling. You grill on, in the backyard and the backyard, the back deck is like fucking unstable, okay? Like, like no. And like the, the grass below it is bumpy as fuck. Like, no, I'm not doing it. Lo Who grills on their front yard? That's insanity. People walking by watching you grill? Do you do it just wearing an apron too that says kiss the cook? Is grilling something you have to do in secret? No, but you shouldn't do it in the front yard. Cook here, You're, Joe's right, we don't grill on the front yard. Thank you, Cook. Thank you, real message from chat. Thank you, yep. Here, only the color of the wall is different. There must be something. What do you mean, only the color of the wall is different? It's a door. Okay. I have to go get the key to the last cell to push a button. Keep it held? What? How the fuck am I supposed to figure that out? It literally says push, and I'm supposed to check the UI prompt after opening five million doors before now to see if this one's different. Notice, think that means hold the button? Ooh, money. 
Oh, it was a trap. Considering you bounced off it, yeah? Why would why would I think I have to fucking push it if I bounce off of it? When I go up to a door that's too heavy and I try to push it, I don't bounce off of it in real life. Anyone else actually perfected the uh, the technique of I don't know if this door is push or pull when I go up to it, and but I can I can pass it off that I knew all along. You go up, you put your hand on the door, and you give it like the very slight push, and then after you give it give it a push, if it doesn't go forward, then you just immediately turn that into a pull. It, it is a technique that's not the hardest to learn. It's not so simple or easy, but it's not but it's not you know it's really tricky. I highly recommend trying to learn this trick. Huh? How is this a technique? That's what you're supposed to do. You weren't here around for this talk on Jad's Zoro. People, ha there's a huge skill issue when it comes to opening doors. Look, look, people in chat are fucking like confirming it. Jesus, Joe, who thinks about things like that? What do you mean he thinks about that? You're just going up to doors, just like what, hoping I get it right, like a psychopath? I don't know if this is push or pull, but here I go. Hope I, re I get the coin flip here. Oh no, I didn't. How embarrassing! Like. Look at the hinges. What if you can't? If you look at the hinges, then okay, that's fine. Who gets embarrassed by that? Wow, you don't get embarrassed if you fuck up a door? Like, if you, like, if you go, like, commit to a push and it's a pull and you, like, 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 walk into the door, that's embarrassing as fuck. If I saw someone do that, I would laugh at them. That would be, like, like, like a vow. Like, like, holy shit. I do it to my kids all the time. If you try to pull and it's pushed, that's even worse. Holy shit. Carol. Oh, Emily's fine. Did you shoot some zombies too, Emily? Where were you? Oh, oh, uh oh, oh. Oh, is, is George dead? Oh, it's the upside down peace sign. That means war. Oh, is it not Carol? Is it George? No, it's Carol. Okay, hi, Carol. Thomas is dead. Tongue's gone, right? George did this to you. Thomas. He's don't tell it. Don't tell. No, don't, no, no, no. I, what? I shot him. I, uh, I had to. Oh. We were. Sub substitutes are you substituting Carol? the something love George loves you <laughs> Emily just close your mouth Kaysen, quick! Where's Kaysen? Are we talking to him through the radio? Rush to the hospital. She needs a full stomach and liver cleansing. York, you need to come too. She needs... Oh, do we no, play as Kaysen now? I have to take care of something here. But I can't take her alone. You're not alone. Kaysen. Willie's with you. Okay, okay, I'll do it. Fast. But if something happens, don't blame me, okay? Just go! Yeah, Willie's here. Red to re. I haven't been this emotional in a long, long time. Can you tell Zach? No, I can't actually. No. You... All right, time to do some side quests. Gotta mop it up. Yeah, this doesn't feel right at all. George just loves Emily so much. Oh, when did we get that gun? I want that gun. Well, the elephant has four saxophones now. Previously during the investigation. Thomas, you've got nowhere to run now. 
Just surrender yourself. You won't have it your way. This isn't Burger King. I won't let you take him. Die, you skanky swine. <laughs> Carol. Carol. Are you okay? Yeah. <laughs> York, are you saying Thomas was not responsible for the murders? Love G himself. I didn't cut that off, by the way. That's how it happens. Has it been George every time with the axe? Oh, look. All right, I'm looking. Do -do -do -do. Focus on the investigation. Let's let's go somewhere else, Zach. All right, back into the police station. Emily out for dinner once this is all over. Nothing too fancy. Just somewhere where we can relax. You know what? Nick's diner might be a good idea. I think I owe him a nice big tip, too. Why breathe so loud, chatter? I want a mod to actually, literally, I'm not kidding, ban that chatter for 24 hours. You can go report back to Northern Lion what happened when you said that. Why are you breathing so loud, Chatter? You go back and yo, there you go. Joe, why do you breathe at all? I enjoy breathing. Why are we doing the same? Uh, I guess it's a little different, but going back and doing the same dungeon again is was a choice. This game's so wild. We'll forget to unban them. Will you? I thought you could like set a ban for like a have a duration. So a timeout. Okay, yeah, 24 hour timeout. There you go. That, that'll work. That's fine. If you're banned, can you still watch the stream? Okay, well, this is functionally the same thing then. You don't see ch you don't see chat. Oh man, I thought maybe you just couldn't type, but you can't see ch you can't see chat. That's hardcore. Is this Thomas's desk? You have to like go incognito or whatever to do that, I guess. Just log out. Seems kind of silly. Just log out. Or is it a, is it an IP thing? Could this be Emily's desk? Yep. Look at the, the horrible cooking that she's done here. You know what? Maybe asking her out is a bad idea. Yeah, is it an IP ban? It's upside down. Is there some hidden significance to this? It's just the account. Yeah, it doesn't make any difference then, does it? The door's jammed by multiple deer antlers. Force is on option here. There must be a way to open it, Zach. Hmm. You find Jad's intimidating? No one has attempted to intimidate me. Probably all great. Yeah, and joining any new social group can be can be pretty intimidating. It's better to lurk for a while and then start posting. That's what I find. Although for the amount of people that we have on Jads, like, um, I feel like the community is pretty small. Although I, oh, I just really talk in dragons then, so maybe that's why. Okay, let's fight. We're gonna fight, right? <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Francis York Morgan. Thomas, fate can be so cruel sometimes. So George had a sulk, a sex cult around himself, and in it was Great. Anna, Great. Becky, Great. Diane, Carol, and Thomas. Are we finishing today? It seems like it. If this is the end. It's called a harem and it's art? Okay, what? Whoa, 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 that was weird. Wait, why is it small? Oh, we're chasing him now! Press AD! Press AD, here I come! Is he gonna hide in a, in a, in a locker at some point? The showdown time with him is close. Oh, great. Great. All right, let's see what's in here first. We haven't done some profiling in here yet. It's locked, I need a key to open it. All right, so we have to go around the other way, get a key, come back. All right, here we go. 
Oh, it's the squirrel key again. It came back. So is Yilan good, or is it just people like her because she they find her hot? Like, is she a strong character? Is she meta? What element is she? Yilan is five star Zing Kui. She's, she's hydro? Is she a support or a carry? Sub DPS? Huh. Should've used a shotgun for this. Chatters are right. How many of you play Genshin? I don't, but I know the meta. Oh no! Oh, thanks for waiting. Joe is a Redditor. Why am I a Why does that make me a Redditor? Whoa, 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 I wasn't saying that I don't, but I know the meta. I'm, I'm saying that that's someone in chat is gonna say that. I don't know the meta. I just asked the meta question. I didn't even know Yulan was a was a Hydro until right now. She's a Hydro honey. What's the meta? Nothing. What's the meta with you? <laughs> oh, we'd have to kill them for keys. Oh, god damn it! The fire zombies. Too fast. Chat on their way to crack Joe at any opportunity. Like, oh, the guy, the guy, like, fire zombie over here. Yeah. Fire zipping over. Are we gonna finish today? I thought we were gonna play this for a whole other week after this. Never mind, finish like uh, early this week. Damn. I wonder if we're gonna go back to chapter select and do some of the side quests. I'd like to see some of them. Maybe not all of them, but I'd like to see some of them for sure. Oh, it's like throwing a throwing a muffin at someone in Hitman. Calculated. Yes, break the boxes for me, George. Break them for me. <laughs> you have no choice. Huh. Zach, he's doing our job for us. I knew all along. Thank you, love. Let's end the raincoat killer legend here, Zach. Is, um, okay, if this is a spoiler, you know what, I'm not gonna ask. Now I have to ask the question because people are gonna wanna know the question, what the question is. Okay, so people might spoil something in chat after I ask this question, so if you don't wanna know the answer after I say it, um, don't look at chat for the next, like, I don't know, 30 seconds. Like, I'm not gonna look at chat for the next 30 seconds after I ask this question because I don't wanna know. So the question I was gonna ask was, is Deadly Premonition 2, like, a continuation of this story, or is it like, hey, here's a whole other case? But then I realized, like, that's, like, very, very difficult to, to say without, like, revealing a whole other shit, you know? Like, like, because what if it starts off as, like, oh, it seems like it's a whole other case, but then it turns out, oh, no, it's, it's not. So, I, I wouldn't want to be spoiled on that, so fuck it. It was a stupid question. Emily's bagel sandwich. That looks pretty good. Oh, no, it doesn't. It's burnt as fuck. Over-caramelized. Why would Emily Snask be here? Because George loves her. Finn wants to buy a gumball machine. I don't know if I should do it. Obviously, it would be like like a Christmas present or something. I told him that if he wants to save up for it, that I will I will count how many times that he uh, eats his leftover French fries after he's done eating to save meals, and I will put that in a bank account for him, and then he can buy one. Huh? Would the other kids be just? I'm pretty sure it would be a communal gumball machine. It's not like he was like buy me a gumball machine. It was like, hey, wouldn't it be fun if we had a gumball machine? Oh, we're in the gun range! Fell in love with the girl at the gun range. Ever shot a gun IRL? No, I've I've not. I'd like to though. <gasps> Why? Because it's something I've never done and it looks interesting. There's there's very little that I wouldn't want to do. The way is totally blocked by red vines. I can't see inside at all. Our little guest must be hiding somewhere though. <laughs> Ah. That's like a genuinely hard QTE. Oh, where are you going? It's closed. All right. Up for eye surgery? I would debate it. Yeah, I, I'm. I am debating it ongoing, like whether I want to commit to it, because I, I, I'm not really a big fan of wearing my glasses, and I'm also not a really big fan of putting my contacts in all the time. Almost every single time I put my contacts in lately, um, my left eye has been like bothering me for the first hour or two. Uh, but they have been, uh, I've been wearing them better after that, so 
I don't know what that means. No, I meant performing eye surgery on someone. Like, if I had, like, a, a guilt-free opportunity to perform eye surgery on someone, then that might be something I might do. Yeah, you know, like... But I would be too afraid to hurt somebody. What? Why not? If we were in the post-apocalypse, and someone needed eye surgery, and I was the only other person that they knew, and they were like, Look, you need to cut open my eye and take something out of my eye, and if you don't do it, I'm gonna die. So, we, you know, there's nothing else that you can that can go on right now. And it was also Ronald McDonald that was gonna give me a, a, a infinite supply of nuggets if I pulled it off. Then I would be like, okay, yeah, I'll, I'll do it. Like guilt-free like yeah i don't want to like d hurt somebody like i'm not going to be like oh i really want to perform eye surgery but if like if i had the opportunity like it'd be interesting like why not what's this fever dream you're talking about i don't know someone gave me a weird hypothetical i didn't bring it up chat did blame chat is it acceptable to go shopping in your pajamas? Absolutely not. It's not acceptable to, to go outside your house in your pajamas. I would say that it's not acceptable to go out of your house for more than five seconds wearing pajamas. You can go out and, and get the and get the mail. You can grab whatever you need from the front porch or whatever real quick, but you cannot go outside your house in pajamas. Pajamas are inside. I understand that it's impractical to like be like you can't even go out and get your mail or whatever for five seconds, but you know, even that's begrudging. I do it every time I go to the grocery store in my jammies, you're fired. Do you really? Do your jammies pass as closed though? If your jammies pass, then I guess it's fine. What's wrong with it? It's kind of weird. Should we shave before the final battle? I won't even leave the house in sweatpants. I can't do it. I tried so hard. I wish I could. I even have really thick like winter sweatpants. I can't do it. I can't leave the house in sweatpants. I have to put jeans on. Like I'll, I'll walk the dogs. I'll, I'll go outside the house and like walk around the outside the house or whatever. But like if I'm going somewhere, like I'm going to get food, I'm going to an appointment or whatever. I, I, I cannot wear sweatpants for like a long term outside thing. I just feel so shitty about it. I can't do it. All right, time to shave. Francis York Morgan, ready to shave. Got the blade and we're ready to shave. What if you put on a jacket? No, I, first of all, I don't wear a jacket either. Why would I wear a jacket when I can just have a hoodie? But yeah, that, that wouldn't make a difference. I have sweatpants on. Ooh. I, I operate under the assumption that any time that I go out of the house, I might run into Kate Beckinsale and I need to look my best. So wh how is this coming back? What is this? Francis York Morgan. His hair looks different now too. Is he covering it up? I finally got to see the real Greenvale. I knew you country folk were shy. It took you long enough to show me who you really are. York. This is a wonderful and powerful town. Especially when it is raining. I always get depressed when it rains. Especially in this town. This town has two great treasures. Do you know what they are, York? Red Seeds and Emily. Those seeds are one of them. But I don't think they deserve to be called a treasure. Some call them trash. Let's come out after Skyrim. Man, you can never appreciate their true value. But you'll agree with my selection on the second treasure, anyway. I don't disagree with treasure number two. Emily sparkles like a precious gem. This town changed since she came here. She's like the most the goddess from the city. What? Gave us the fruit of knowledge and gave us sin. She's so basic, bro. What? When I first saw her, I realized I was such a fool. Oh, he's jacked. A fool for being satisfied by the petty girls from this countryside. <laughs> uh, George, I agree you were a fool. You are a fool, even now. <laughs> Shut it, York. You're the fool here. What the fuck is this? Becky, Diane, and Carol. They all died right in front of you. You couldn't save even one of them. Not even one. You're the worthless fool here. And that's what proves it. But me, unlike you, I am strong. I have power. My mother taught me the strong tree power who can overpower others is always correct. What happened to his teeth? My mother stepped on my face with her stiletto heels because she had power. And when her heel <laughs> pierced my cheek, I learned to respect her. Since then, I obtained power of my own found my own disciples. I became divine. All I need now is that goddess of faith and grab her with my hands. 
I want Emily in her stiletto heels. You're out of your mind. The goddess won't smile for you anymore, George. York, have you ever shot down a deer? Oh, it's so different from shooting a man. Deer hunting is great. They can be erotic creatures. Those black eyes. What? Firm hips. Slender legs. What is he cooking? Don't agree. Time to time, there's a family of deer that comes down to the graveyard. I can't hear him. I shot them full of bullets. They still remain standing. First, I thought they were zombies. But when I snuck up on one, cut its stomach out, I found the truth. Eat the red seeds. The red seeds. Those seeds made those deer invincible. George, no Olympics for you. You'll fail the doping test. <laughs> You'd be good too for wild animals. Shut your crap, York. I have these seeds because I chose them. To me, and that proves Wait, I thought you had to like make four people die with the seeds in their mouth and not talking to be to be immortal. Did the deer do that to other deer? Uh oh. The red tree. That all wrong, George. That's the mark of childhood. <laughs> yes, you're being so sane. <gasps> He's a vampire. That's no use, York. Carol's death gave me eternal strength. It's surging through my body. I can no longer be killed. York, aren't you honored? You'll be the first to congratulate me for my new powers. Yeah. Uh, nice shot there. We, York, we. <laughs> I'm the chosen one. Oh shit, I hit reload as he did that. Ink never expires. I kick like a warhead. Getting Anna and Becky involved was all too easy. Oh, okay. Carol and Thomas built a secret club for me. All we had to do was tell them about it, and they were giddy to join us immediately. How did you get them involved? That's where I used the seeds on Anna and Becky. Amazing results, let me tell you. They went berserk, like cats in heat. Anna, especially, enjoyed the seeds. So I made my decision. She would be the first sacrifice for my immortality. So you posed them? George, your poetic prose is a bit confusing. Let me reword this so it makes sense. Uh, profiling? You chose Anna as your first victim, so you could be a first degree murderer. <laughs> Lamayo got him. Oh. And he framed Thomas so it looked like he did it. Oh. <laughs> You're going to prison, George. You saw him, didn't you? All made up. Poor fellow. He knew that he was only being treated as a substitute for Emily. He knew that. And Carol knew too. But they played along with your sick games. <laughs> oh my. You're making me cry. He's the one who told me about the raincoat killer. About how to become divine, too. Shoot him! Shoot him! He didn't believe any of it. But when he told me, it all made sense. Why was I born in such a run-down dump? Why did my mom beat me every day? Mom? Why didn't Emily want me? All these things were just preparing me for something more. 
ultimate power. Ah! Is he getting bigger? What are those armbands made out of? What the? <laughs> With an imagination like that, you belong in the zoo. The Hollywood Zoo. <laughs> I went to the Hollywood Zoo the other day. What is. Time to get serious, York. Why is this QTE easier than the one with the when he's chasing you in the in the thing? You pay for this. Shit, I hit E instead. This was included for Westerners, yeah, you're right, chat. Yep. Yeah. Oh, is this why I would have to turn off compatibility mode to do the last part? Because you can't aim with it, and aiming is really important here? Like, it's not as impossible, it's just too hard. Man, is Emily turning into this right now? She ate some seeds. I didn't do anything bad. Oh, okay. Why? Why are you doing this to me? It wasn't me. I didn't do anything. I now to apologize to Prahana. I know I didn't with you, but still, I didn't do anything wrong. You know who it was. He's the one who made me too bothers. Oh, wait, who is it? He's the one that gave me the wonderful present. Who? And it filled me with confidence. And that was when I realized, I realized that I am blessed. York. No, you have it. Right to hold on to it. You mean this? Why are you so concerned about this locket? I told you I'm the chosen one. Only the chosen one can own that locket. Oh, he has a weapon now. Uh oh. That's what he. That's what he told me. Who? Harry? <laughs> Thomas? I am special. I am. You puny punk. I am the one. Um, can I run forward a little bit first before you pressing that? No, I can't. Alright, where are we going? I am the chosen one. I am the chosen one. I can't move. I am the chosen one. I am the chosen one. I'm supposed to be divine! I can't move. Oh, I can move now! Okay, why couldn't I... So when he changes them, I can't- Oh, I can move now! What the fuck? I don't understand what happened there, man. I am shooting it. It doesn't do anything. Oh. I shot it a lot! I feel like I shot it less that time and it didn't- and it did something. What is that noise? First degree murderer, and I'm federal agent. That's all this is. George, of course you're going to lose. This is just a normal case. This is how they all end. And I'm just Joe. like the tree. Needs a cigarette. Went too long. Total clear time. 20 hours, 49 minutes. Total number of days. Alright. Here we go. Here we go. Zach, Zach view?
Episode 5, 24, Red Tree. You'll also be able to return back soon. Very soon, you'll be able to go back to where you came from. <laughs> Chat, how does it feel that George had an enemy harem and you don't? How does it feel? <laughs> oh, they're all laughing at us. <laughs> you also need to have more fun. I'll play with you a little if you like. Why aren't you laughing? Expect no praise. You did nothing but your duty. Emily looks like our mom, right? It's gotta be. Francis. Well yeah. done. Yeah. I'm sure your father wants to congratulate you. Nice dress. I like it too, actually. I'm sorry, but I can't allow you to go with your parents yet. There is still something you need to do. Another game? Open that envelope. Wait, it's just a symbol from Smash Bros in here. <gasps> York is on the profile. Uh, oh, I thought we'd have to say something after that. What? What were the other options? Agent York, finally you're awake. Oh, Usha! I thought he was going to have more How of a role. I've been out. A whole day, uh, plus 10 hours or so. Chess magazine. I wanted to challenge you to a game, but uh... Uh, you were asleep. Loves chess. Emily. Which room is Emily in? Emily? What? She hurt too? She hasn't come into the hospital. Whoa! Oh. Oh. Record scratch? Kaysen to bring her here. Kaysen? Kaysen came. I mean, he's the one who brought you here. Which reminds me. He asked me to give you this. <gasps> oh, it was Kaysen all along. He's the one who gave the gift. FK and the coffee. What is it? I don't know. He just asked me to hand it to you after you woke up. Anyway, you solved the case, right? Hey, do you want to play some chess? No, but here's the winning move. I'll have to take a rain check. <laughs> I have an urgent issue I need to attend to. And I need to leave the hospital. Okay, not gonna have a drink first. A day in ten hours, dehydrated. Have some food, do some stretches. Zach, I have a bad feeling about this. And that's how my story ends. Those are the credits. Who he's playing chess with. Sometimes people who are learning how to play chess, or learning how to play chess, um, getting better at chess will set up uh, boards and, and study them and follow games and look at them. So himself. Key from Kaysen. Kaysen. You got a map. Side quest time? Hold on, let me call George and ask him to pick me up. Hey George, can you take me somewhere? Oh no. All right, let's eat Emily. Later we'll eat Thomas. Zach, I'm getting a really bad feeling about all this. A deadly premonition, I truly really believe say. George was the murderer that we were after. But killing him, of course, does not solve all the murders related to the Red Seeds. Oh. I do not know if what Harry said is true at all. But the answer to the mystery of those Red Seeds is here in this town. I'm sure Kaysen. Kaysen's been spreading the I seeds all around. I FBI agent. I left Emily alone as I slept through an entire day. Zack, I need you to pray with me. Pray that things have not gone too far. All we can do is go to the location written in Kaysen's letter. Can we go fishing first? Allowing you to like, just seep in the tension here with the sky looking like this, with the rain coming down, the music. Pretty good choice, gotta say. Uh, probably the wrong way. Joe, look behind you. There's no one here. Ah! You mean cut across the grass here? Oh, we're going to George's hoose. All right. Oh, let me stop for some gas. I thought we would be seeing a lot more of the different characters in the town as this went on. Like, all of them would be involved in some way. And I guess that's unrealistic, but um, I'm surprised. Not sure if I would say disappointed, but... Then again, I guess that's what the side quests are, right? If you don't talk to them. But after they went out of their way to introduce everybody, 
I thought there would a lot of them would be more involved. We really should have made you do the side quests. It's kind of expecting an everyone is guilty twist. Well, in a way, that's George's that house. is what happened because of the the secret they were all hiding. Bitch, you live like this. Oh, the elephants here. This is most strange, Zach. I thought this story was all over. I did too. But it looks like there's something else before we get to see the ending. I like second secret endings. All right, I'm still in. I hope it's better because uh, I can't lie to you, chat. I wish I wish I I felt differently, but uh, everything that just happened with George is not so bad. It's good. That was that was just bad. Everything that just happened with George, the revelation, that was just that was just bad. This is the King Castle, I assume. I why did this need to display power? What? Something I will never understand. Look underneath. No, 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 no. Hold on. Let's save it. So this was the wire found at each crime scene. Should we send this in as evidence or do we no longer need to? Yeah, there's some stuff of this I don't get. The sheet is swaying slightly. A draft of air is coming through, coming near my feet. <gasps> Let's shave. Shave at the crime scene. Whiskers growing at the speed of light. Trim is set to overdrive. It's so quiet. Stuffed deer. Check his fridge for mustard or hot sauce. Oh, that's a good idea. We should check the fridge. Oh, he has no fridge. He really was a, a crazy person. Can't believe two people would be able to live here. The mysteries of Colonel Wine. What do you mean two people? What? You still think his mom is here? Really? Is the mom still here? Did someone really cook in this kitchen? The health officers would turn pale if they saw that. Damn, someone even worse than Emily. I guess he really didn't want people to see inside. No sympathy for you, George. Yeah, this was the only window you couldn't peek through. Should have known. The signs were all there. Loves mannequins. I think Emily's dead. We're going to be driving off. The last shot is going to be York talking to Zach about how she's a goddess after all. Ooh, the lighting. Oh, push! We learned earlier! Oh, damn! Let's do a runner. I know how to do this. Oh shit, I lost concentration. All right, focus, focus, focus. Oh, oh it's, it's spring loaded. Oh damn, we were so close. It was different, what the? <laughs> what is with this door? All right, there we go, we did it. Emily? Why, oh, he put a tally mark every time he, fish he finished an issue of One Piece. Where did he start? Loves Emily. Zach? It looks like George really had a thing for Emily. There's a crack in the wall. We could take a peek through it. This wall is covered with Emily's pictures. I don't think Emily needs to see it. Clothes have been thrown on the bed. The king's bed doesn't look comfortable. What? What? What the fuck are you doing, bro? Like. Emily? Meeting the mother is always a bad experience after killing the son. <laughs> Zach. Um... What was it to reverse peace mark? <laughs> it's a tree. Ooh. 
Wait! Didn't we know that already? Red tree, red rum, RT in the coffee. Oh, what? F K Kason. Forest Kason. He's making a forest of red trees. He's the one. Come to the theater. There, what? Emily. There the final curtain shall rise. All right. Do we get some side quest time before that? Oh, they were buds. Kaysen was part of the harem. Zach view? Okay, time for Kaysen to go nuts. Is Willie behind this? Previously during the investigation. Welcome to Greenvale. <laughs> Agent Francis York Morgan. You're out of your mind. The goddess won't smile for you anymore, George. Emily. Which room is Emily in? If that wasn't a reversed peace mark, red tree. Zach, I need you to pray with me. Pray that things have not gone too. Okay. Yeah, I did it. Shovel Knight. Now we get to play as him. There! Over there! Let's go. Oh, we do. We're the R killer. I have to go all the way over there, apparently. Episode six. Yeah, this is chaos. How did they cover this up? Dare I say Kino? The sound, man. Hold on over there. Do I have uh, until the 13th bell before I lose and have to do it again? Can I get a quick plot recap for anyone tuning in? The Persona 5 joke will never die. Uh, you can't, because I don't really understand what's going on. Did the car not spawn? Quint? What's oh, Quint's dad? This is a long walk. I don't think we're going to make it. They really wanted to appeal to the West, huh? Yeah, as, as a Westerner, like, this is just, like, this has elevated the game by three whole points for me right now. Like, holy crap. They really knew what they were doing. This was definitely for me. I see. I, I feel seen. Feel respected. Oh man, this chaos is pretty cool, actually. A little spark even on the grass. Uh oh. Uh oh. Paradox. <laughs> oh, it was him! I was gonna make that joke earlier! Because he was the only big guy here, I was gonna say it's Kaysen! Fuck, why didn't I? God damn it! I was like, there could only be one fat guy in the story, it's gonna be Kaysen! And I thought, nah, don't say that. There's no way. Oh, oh, oh. Here's a chainsaw. Daddy, um, Mommy, and Grandpa. Everyone in town's acting strange. It's okay. Uh, 
I'm. Com oh, damn. The weeb zombie with the, with the katana. Alright, Rip and Sarah, let's go. Zach, the situation has gone way out of control. We need to get inside the theater. Why is this happening? Is this even real? I don't understand what's happening. Okay, let's save. Can we have a Zach view recap? I, I, I legitimately don't know what's going on right now. Unknown force. Are, are they? Like. Let's try not to hurt them if we can. Ironrath has gifted a sub to the Raincoat Killer. Thank you, Ironrath. Welcome, Raincoat Killer, to the Premonition Pals. Zach, they're currently being controlled by an unknown force. Not planning to eat yet, to Zach? If we can. Uh, I, I think they're pretty far gone, uh, York. They're covered in blood. They look like zombies. I... Is, is Deadly Premonition 2 a post-apocalyptic game? All right, let's have a sleep. Uh, is our suit smelly? No, we're good. Open this door. There is no turning back. You still want to enter? No, let's go do some side quests. Sorry, one second. Oh, I need to sleep. <sighs> Very well. Off you go, Mr. Fuck. <sighs> So has Kaysen just been setting up all these red trees all over the shop? Hmm. <laughs> and finally you arrive, George. Oh, he's got evil voice. There you go. George is dead. Wait. You've got nowhere left to run. He didn't button her shirt? George! Oh, right, George. <laughs> he was a funny one. I gave him a toy locket. And he was so... <laughs> so moved. <laughs> but he wasn't very intelligent. He was born. Why is the house, tree moving? And, and it took him too long to discover the red seeds. Binding down people with rules is a sign of small mindedness. And that was what George represented in life. I'm taking Emily. Oh, but I can't allow that now, can I? Why not? York, you left her to me. In my care. Remember. I told you to come with us, didn't I? Must remember. But you didn't come. You chose your job over the woman that you love. Casey. This chit chat. Oh, indeed. Literally on stage. My fun with Emily ended just a moment ago. It was a fantastic moment. <laughs> like eating a full course dinner. I, oh. That ends with the ultimate dessert. <laughs> I fed her a fake story about my past. And she took in every word. <laughs> Cut out your nonsense. I told you, no more talk. Just kill him. What are you doing? There you go, York. That's right. <laughs> Feel the hate boiling from the bottom of your stomach. That's what makes little men create such great and amazing history. <laughs> Just like tiny ants that make giant ants. Yeah, that's what they do, yep. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You know, I just had dessert, and yet I'm already hungry again. <laughs> no wonder why I keep failing at keeping a diet. Kaysen, stop. The next one will pierce you between your eyes. York. Emily, it's me. I'm here. Don't worry. York? Is 
that you? Oh, thank God. York. I... Emily, no. That isn't me. <laughs> York. York. Emily! Emily, that's not me! Emily! <laughs> Six minutes is on me. Oh, what the fuck? It's okay, Emily. Hurry, come over here. We need to get you to the hospital. I, I can't. I, I can't go to you. My legs are gone. I've, I've been soiled. What? No, that's not true. You have a heart that can't be soiled. Ooh. No matter what happens to your body, you are still yourself. You're... Saplings to sprout requires a, a certain technique. <laughs> what do you think? So when the seed she ate is like it's like a serialistic pain. It's fucked up. Oh, she's become soil. Soil for the trees. She's been soil. <laughs> Yeah, this this looks pretty over. I think maybe you should shoot her. I don't know. This looks agonizing. Zach. What should I do? I'm sorry. Oh no. It's all the same. Let her go. It's all connected. Remove that sapling. What? What? <laughs> it's too late. Once it's like this, I can't do anything to stop it. Please, darling. Is that Emily's bottle? I'd rather die. If you love me. Let me die. <laughs> Shoot him first. What are you doing? Yeah, go for it. Time to start drinking, dog. At times, we must purge things from this world because they should not exist. Even if it means losing someone that you love. Yes. I, I, I couldn't do it. However, you can. When the time comes and you have to make that decision, make the right one. Okay, Zach? <laughs> okay, Zach? I saw you, Zack.
Oh, this is really going anime. Oh, that's where he got his first scarf from. Oh, it is explained. Oh, neat. It's okay. I'm here. I'm with you. I'll be with you always. We can get through this together. Who are you? My name is York. Me and you will always be together. Okay, oh, it's just like this thing I can't say because it would spoil it. And you are me. I am thou. Thou art I. Now, give me your hand. Wait, what? No. No. I remember. No. 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 I are you fucking you. serious? No. York. <laughs> other me. My other personality. The whole time? Zach, please. <laughs> the <Shoot. laughs> Kill. What? Kill me. <laughs> York, what should I do? Tell me what to do, York. Zack, you have to decide for yourself what you must do. I'll be with you no matter what you decide. Don't worry. Emily, I can't shoot you. <laughs> like father, like son. Taking the same path. And to think York went through all that pain to get you out. Out of the red room that you were stuck in all this time. Wait, what? Zach! No! Emily, we only had a short time together. But I'm glad to have met you. Goodbye. How was that an option? Zach, you made the wrong choice. Oh no, let's go back. But don't give up. Think carefully. Okay. Father's words will guide Did she just blink? Ooh. Now again, focus on reality, Zach. Okay, so shooting Kaysen is obviously the right choice, right? So let's shoot her and see what happens. Actually, you know what? Maybe it's not. Maybe shooting her is the right choice because that's what the father was like. You have to have the strength to do this. I don't know. Zach, please, please shoot. Kill, kill me. York, what should I do? Tell me what to do, York. What if I don't do anything? Aim at Kaysen. Let's do it. You don't deserve to live. I don't deserve to live. Well, unfortunately, I've always been more than human. What? I'm a messenger of the Red Tree. A citizen <laughs> from the Red World. Whoa, What the fuck? That's enough, Kaysen. <laughs> you can't hurt me. <laughs> okay. Well, you chose wrong. <laughs> Rotten case and right, is she gonna blink? Let's see. Hold on. I really want to see. Zach. But don't give up. She blinks. Think carefully. Focus okay, on reality. Okay. Father's words will guide us. So, so shoot. All right. So, what if, what if I don't do anything? What happens if I don't do anything? Does it just pick the option I'm selected? Trees never expire. Point gun at Emily. All right. Let's see. It's, it's on that one. Let's let the time run out and see if it does it. York. What should I do? Tell me what to do, York. Oh, it just loops. Oh, okay. Zach, you have to decide for yourself what you must do. I'll be with you no matter that what you decide. really surprises me. Don't worry. There are some things in this world that must be 
extracted. No matter what. He's gonna shoot the tree? Even if that means losing someone that you love. <sighs> yep, it's hard to aim in this game, I know. I can't. I can't do it. I can't kill Emily. <sighs> I'm sorry, Zach. That miss was put in for Western audiences. Stop. Emily! Yeah, I should be fine. Ladies and gentlemen, and now the grand finale. <laughs> <laughs> What have you done? Zack. I wasn't used as soil at all. Oh, that, that that it was intentional. Okay. You're beautiful. The most beautiful person I've ever seen. Thank you, Zack. I want to Emily, no. You aren't supposed to go over there. That's not the way. Come back, Emily. York and Zack. Finally, I understand. You two really are best friends. <laughs> I'm a little jealous. Oh, you son of a bitch, York. Stand up, Zach. It's up to you now. Emily, I finally got to meet you face to face. But you had to go with York, didn't you? He always gets the girl. Yes, NTR. You see that too, right? He kept talking to me. And ended up pulling me back out of that room. I'm sure he'll make you very happy. Okay, can you take damage now? Are you like uh, powered by immunity of someone like growing a tree? Do you have to do this every so often or else you die? Like what's going on? What? Oh, he's farting. What's Willie's role in all of this? The music. <laughs> oh shit! You fool! This is um very silly. I can't believe we were Zach all along. I 
can't believe this is how Twin Peaks ends. Holy crap, I didn't know Twin Peaks got this off the rails. That's insane. I really want to watch it now. Oh, okay. Enough messing around. What? I thought it was the red room. Humans are so foolish. So foolish. There's nothing to compare to. With one whiff of that gas I made from the seeds, they happily kill each other. Even their neighbors, even the ones they love. Oh, what are you thinking? Zach, what are we thinking? To the full effects of the seeds themselves, but I still got a really good laugh out of it. <laughs> AD, time to run! Run, AD, let's go! Worst case in cam. Time to do a dungeon? Oh, here we go! Run! Get the foot back here, Zach. FC. <laughs> Lameo got him! Wait, why are we running down closer to where he fell? Let's run up now. What are we doing? Make, really makes you feel like a bottom. You're an Here we go. Little bug. Didn't he mention a frog earlier, or did someone else mention a frog? Who mentioned a frog? I'll squash you like a frog. Am I doing something wrong here, chat? Should I be fighting, or? Keep your eyes to the front. Oh, I have to hit R twice. Sorry. Or maybe even hold it down. I'll squash you like a frog. I'm not done with you yet. I'll squash you like a frog. I'm not uh, done. Elden Ring. Yet. How are your fingers? They're getting a little tired, actually. Is this really any different than R R1 spam in Dark Souls? That's true. It's true. It looped? Zuck. I'll squash you like a frog. I'm not done with you yet. How is this game real, man? How is this game real? What the fuck is happening? Wait, he didn't fall this time. Oh, we're done. Okay, run, 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 keep going. Oh, now you run faster. Okay. Thank you, a cat named Doge, or some say dog, for the resub. Thank you very much. And also thank you to Dcross950 for the resub. Did it, we won. Popcorn? Is he gonna I be mean, absolutely gigantic now? I will avenge your death. Just a moment longer. I'll buy you a new dress to make up for all the pain I've caused you. The dress you wore when you came to my hotel room didn't seem to fit you right. What? It fit perfectly. You said so earlier. <laughs> Oh, oh, sorry, sorry. My bad. 
I didn't realize that was York's opinion and Zach's was different. My bad. I should not have assumed. Hope Willie saves us. Kason, I've been meaning to tell you this. You're one crazy guy. <laughs> Love <laughs> my yo got him. <laughs> pain. What's this pain? Take this and die. Wait, what? What am I supposed to do? Hide? Take this and die. Oh, okay. Does he take any damage? No. Why you? Why you? I think I could speed run this faster than three hours. I think I could get the world record. Still better than Steins Gate. True! <laughs> hey, I need to see your hand, please. Just hold it behind your back. What are you doing, bro? Was it us? Were we like controlling York? Because we because Zach remembered what happened with Kason and York was suppressing it somehow, or what's that got to do with anything? I have so many questions. I'm so confused. Still a better boss than Fire Giant from Elden Still a better boss than any in Witcher 3. Nah, the DLC in Witcher 3 has some some competent boss fights. Base game eh, they're equally a waste of time, yeah, I agree. Oh no, he learns! You're an annoying little bug. This is <laughs> Oh, pull my devil trigger. Pull my devil trigger. Oh. Wait, I can see it. Oh, it's right there, okay. Because I'm an FBI because agent. you don't understand humans. What? Yeah, cool guys don't look at corpse explosions. Just walk away. Dare I say Kino? <gasps> Wait, turn that music off. What are we doing? tries not to show it, but he's pretty shy. Don't wait for him to propose. Just ask him to marry you. You hear me? You ask him to marry you. Hmm? Crush it. Crush it! Oh, it's a squeaky toy. I would burn it? I would have burned it, just to be safe. Right? Who's with me? I would have burned the fuck out of that. Zack for you! Previously during the investigation... Should be York, York for you. The other me. My other personality. There are some things in this world that must be extracted. No matter... York! 
I'm, I'm sorry, I... Uh, why can you cause me pain? Uh, 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 red tree! Actually, a little sad. Episode 7, 26, epilogue. Here we go. Let's go see Dad. Why do we have a bandage on? Nothing happened to us. Are you leaving today? Maybe. Zach, that story I told you the other day, did you believe any of it? The fact of the matter is that I couldn't save Emily. So it really doesn't matter whether I believed you or not. I'm very sorry about her. There's something mysterious about that picture. There's a calming beauty to it, and yet it exudes sadness. Harry, I have a few questions for you. About what, Zack? Your last name isn't really Stewart, is it? Ah, that is correct. It's really Woodman. Oh, I chopped down the trees! Woodman. George was my son. You were there in the White Room when I was there. Why? The same reason as your father. Long, long ago, I too was unable to shoot my wife. It's a fucking That's epidemic. That I was <laughs> I'm I was sorry, what? Which is why I lost both. What? I loved and my son. <laughs> my wife suffered from a mental illness. What an amazing life! I wanted to save George too, if I could. Everything was my fault. If only I had the courage to make the right decision, Emily and the other girls would not have died. What do you mean, why not? But you have put an end to all of that. I wonder if they are happy. Shoot your wife and then Kaysen just like pieces out. I don't get it. To worry about that. All right. York will guide Emily and the other girls. Long ago, I also wasn't able to shoot my wife. Holy fuck. Kojima, what are you doing? Hey, Michael. Mind stopping the car for a moment? Very well, Mr. Francis Zack Morgan. <laughs> You stabbed me with scissors, remember? No one died. Uh huh. That's right. Who the fuck is York then? I'm so loud. You're this far in, and your question is who is York? After all that just it's happened in the past Emily. hour, your question is who girls. is York? How are Isaac and Isaiah? Oh, they're fine. They still don't think the girls are dead. They're not. Give it to him yourself. He's right next to you. Oh, is it going to be the leaf amulet? Oh, Here we go. okay. I understand. We'll do it for you. Man, people love giving these kids things to get to other people. Um, Emily kind of told us to give this to you. Emily said it's a present for Zach. Thank you. Where did you get this? Emily asked us to give it to you. See? She's over there. There's another Zach there, too. You're twins, just like us. Emily couldn't give it to you herself. Zach, look, twins. She said she's too embarrassed. So, she asked us to hand it to you. Emily really likes you, Zach. She really likes you. No, she doesn't. Not me. She really likes that guy, York. 
the guy you see standing next to her. Anyways, you two, be nice to the girls, okay? And they'll be nice to you. We don't like girls. Girls are boring. Based. <laughs> Gotta love them. Just full of energy. Emily. York. Sounds like you're both doing fine. I feel better about you two now. And hey, York. I figured out why George carried on his body all the way into the woods. It was for them. He wanted Isaac and Isaiah to find her. What? Why? We're not 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 explaining that. Mr. We're not Francis we're, Zach okay. Morgan. All right. Do do do. If you do do do. Do do do. Do do do. Do do do. You can go home. I want to take a look around more. Hey, killer. The raincoat killer. Will approve of the curse of green. It wasn't the. It wasn't really the raincoat killer we needed to catch though. It was Casey. Thank you, Michael. Buddy York is gonna help what i thought we were gonna be done today you'll understand one day kids when you have a wife to shoot <laughs> all right george can you take me somewhere oh, george is back ghost of george is there anything is there anything good to do right now fishing why fishing what do you mean what why fishing harry's Aren't we at Harry's? We're at Harry's, aren't we? This is Harry's. Oh, there's a red thing on the on the uh, on the map. Hold on, what's that? Oh, we have to go see Polly. All right, so we can go to Holly's. We can go to we can, we can go to, to Harry, and then we can go and see Polly. What's Polly's end game? I gotta head out, but I can't. So I can't see this end of stream. Do you think it was anime now? It was pretty anime. York, can you hear me? I'm a little jealous. I'm all alone on this side now. But don't worry, York. I've had it easy for so long having you with me. I need to get used to being on my own. I think after, I, I assuming I've seen almost all of it now at this point, and there's no big surprise or anything, I think I'm I, I'm most comfortable calling this a Souls-like, I think. Red marker will be credits by, okay, we'll go see Harry, then we'll go and do that, and then we will go read the IGN review. Oh, it's closed, call for someone. Oh, I thought there was a quest here. Is there not? Do I have to wait for the time? I thought I had to come here for something. We tend not to start new games at the end of a week. Normally we start new games uh, on a new day, uh, on a new week. Unless we, we finish something on a Tuesday. It's pretty rare that we need like one more stream at the beginning of the week to finish the game though. Iron Wrath is telling me to smoke. Let's smoke. If we have done all the side quests, and then maybe we'll do Forspoken tomorrow on Saturday to get through Forspoken a little faster. Because I don't want to start a new game. Uh, Not here. Is it not late enough? Okay, so it seems like it's not here. Let's try smoking for a couple more hours. Dang, we got we got paid so much money for this investigation. All right, time for a puzzle. Zach, you don't feel like leaving this town yet, do you? You're right. Something's making me want to stay a bit longer. Well, since you gave me a visit, why don't we play a little game? A game? A simple game. You don't have to go anywhere. I'll ask you multiple choice questions about Greenvale. That's all. Would you like to give it a try? Sounds like fun. Greenvale trivia. All right, then. These questions are about Greenvale. Are you ready? First question. Who had lunch with Polly at the hotel when it rained? Uh, Kaysen? It was Kaysen, wasn't it? Well done. But how about this next one? Second question. What are the names of George's dumbbells? Uh, Arnold and, and uh, Sylvester. There you go. Impressive. <laughs> but can you answer this one correctly? Third question. What was written on the Velvet Falls cup? Something about falls or... Oh, shit. Hurry. That was no! Quite but in retrospect, that was a little tough. You I thought it said hurry to Velvet Falls. There's still a lot I don't know about this place. Well, you may try again whenever you wish. Just let me know and I'll be ready to challenge you again. Ben said you can only save by finishing the chapter if you use chapter select so you can lose so you can lose hours of progress via crash like me. What what does that mean? What? I don't know what that means, chatter. Sorry. I don't know what that means. You can only save by finishing the I just saved it though. It's about side quest mop up. It means chapter select for side quest sucks. Okay, there's a chapter select option where you can start for any chapter, but if you use it you have to finish a chapter to say Oh, I don't really care about the game thinking I got hundred percent. 
Like, I, I just want to see the content. But apparently I've seen most of the stuff that I need to see, so maybe we're not going to continue tomorrow if, if, if that's the case. First question. In the beginning, why was Diana out of town? Art something. Art show something. I don't know. Auction. Auction. Well done. But how about this next one? Second question. Who had lunch with Polly at the hotel when it rained? Kaysen. Repeat already. I like these kinds of things. Banjo Kazooie has one of the most <laughs> epic ones, but when you replay the game, it can be kind of tedious. Because I think it randomizes question. a lot of the shit. What type of dog did Forrest Kaysen have own? Dalmatian! Dalmatian! Jack, you're simply astonishing. It's quite difficult to answer these consecutively. Perhaps it's just a sign that I put too much heart into my work. Uh, perhaps. Let's keep going. But you must control your feelings, your desire to stay. Oh, you're right. At this rate, I'll be here forever. Well, then, I shall give you your prize. Here, take this. Is it a card? Francis York Morgan, child. Oh, there's a card of me. What the fuck? You can leave this town in our care now and follow your own path. That was it for here? I can go? Did I get enough cards to, uh, to hand in the quest? 34? How many, how many did it want? Yeah, 34. I counted it again. All right, so I think we can hand that in. Wonder what we're gonna get. Maybe even a card. Panda bear. Read the card descriptions. I don't think we have time for that because we're gonna. The stream has to end in 15 minutes. It has to, or else I'll die. And we have to hand this quest in. Then we have to go back to Polly, and then we have to read the IGN review. I promised. More than 32. Well done. I appreciate you showing them to me. Here's a little something, as promised. Is there a secret one for, uh... Ooh, no tie. That'll give you more life when you wear it. Oh! Hold on to it, okay? Damn. If you find any new cards, come show them to me, will you? I miss half a stream. What the fuck happened to York? What are you talking about? We're, it's, this is Zach. It's always been Zach. Is this find all the cards and we'll get you something? 48 cards. You get a rare thank you. Oh, I didn't realize there was another one. Talk. York? Tonight I'm going to sleep like a baby. To answer a question from, from hours ago, sometimes VA knows they're the bad guy from the start, and other times it's hidden for them to get more genuine performance. For example, the bad guy from V3 didn't know they were until the end. Oh, okay. So Zach, are, are they told to do the evil voice it's then? It's over. All finished. It's time for you to leave town. Are you ready to go? Oh, uh, is this it? Do I have to talk to Polly, or am I just going? This is it? Then this is goodbye, Zach. Thank you for everything. Good night, Zach. And sleep tight. Don't let the bug buds bite. Beg bed buds bike. Bed bugs bite. Polly, what's that picture? Oh, that. We took it when the clock tower was built. Fifty years ago? That's right. That's me in the middle. I was pretty popular back then. Men were always around me. That's three in the corner. You don't Sorry recognize Kaysen? Just sign here, please. Mr. Morgan. Mr. Morgan. Oh, I'm, I'm sorry, Polly. I was just thinking of a friend. Someone who was with me for a long, long time. He must have been a really good friend then. Otherwise, why else would you remember him at a time like this? Indeed. We used to fight. But he really was a good person. He's gone now, though. Gone away. To a place where we can't meet again. I'm sorry to hear that. But if he's a friend of yours, I'm sure he's getting on just fine. Thank you, Polly. You know what? I think so, too. Remember when we crashed our car on the way here? was right, only York smokes. Evil dog. Crash. 
can't believe we managed to go through this game in true colors. So this was way better than no. true colors. She became the goddess of the forest. <gasps> Even now, she Snake? is still in the forest with York. She watches over the world from there. Emily became a goddess. That's right. Isn't that a lovely ending? Hey, Grandpa. Can I ask you something? What kind of person is York? York. He's a real nice guy. He's been a good friend of mine since I was small. Like Mr. Teddy? Yes. Just like Mr. Teddy. A very important friend. Whoa, 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 whoa! Woo! Is it me trying to play piano? What, what the fuck was that? Emily! It's almost time for dinner! Mr. President. Take your grandfather's dinner up to him, will you? Yes, Mom! How's your grandfather doing? I don't know. Piano it's elephant. Sorry, so guy. sorry. Oh dear, he must be losing his memory. Uh-oh. You are Louise, honey. Uh -oh. Michelle Louise Morgan. Not Emily. You know that, right? I know my own name, Mom. I know you do, baby. You're just so lovely, Louise. I'm sure that's why your grandfather mixes you up with a goddess. What is this voice acting? Look. This subtitle box is just wild. All right, so who did uh who did Zach get it on with? Mom, where is the goddess? I don't know, dear. I'm not much like your grandfather. Is there even such a thing as a goddess? I believe so, but I've never met one. Mom, you're so pretty. You look like a goddess. Uh oh. Oh, thank you, honey. If I am a goddess, then you are an angel. <laughs> By the way, you should look up the whole map of the credits. Why? I looked at the whole map. Is there an optional extension somewhere? Do you think if this game had as much budget as you, budget as you, you zero it would be an actually great game? You mean like more conventionally great? Because the game was, was pretty good already. Uh, yeah, I, th I think, uh, maybe not actually. Oh, it went through the whole alphabet with all the different characters. Huh. That's cute, I like that. That's really cute, I didn't realize that. <sighs> to some extent, some polish with um with the track from the experience. I know how insane that sounds, but yeah, I I vibe with this pretty pretty clear. I'm really glad that the game had that that epilogue section because the whole thing that happened with George was just really bad. It was really losing me. So then that section at the end brought me back big time. So yeah, it was pretty good. It was still wild. Like I don't know how I really think about this. I had an I had an entertaining time. Let's put it that way. What? What? Mom, do you believe those stories that Grandpa tells? You believe them, Louise? They're all just made up stories, dear. All fiction. Like your picture books. So all my picture book stories aren't true? Uh oh. Oh, don't twist things around, Louise. You just want to know everything, don't you? Here, take this dinner to your grandfather. Go on while it's still hot. Mom, I understand what Grandpa's talking about. I've got Mr. Teddy, just like Grandpa's York. <laughs> Very nice, dear. Now off you go. Hold it straight or you'll spill the soup. I've got it. So still think this was what Silent Hill 2 should have been? I do. This is way better than Silent Hill 2. Not even close. Ooh, what's this? Oh. scary, isn't she? Are 
they all gonna watch? There's only six people in the afterlife. Only six people in the afterlife. That was seven. No, you don't count. It's it's you and six other people. There's only six people in the afterlife. Oh, now it's more. Hey, how's it going? Oh, the dinner killed him. someone wouldn't you want to be with the mother no okay oh we're still going Zach it's great to see you again how many years has it been I've been close to you the whole time you probably couldn't see me but you felt my presence nearby right Zach I never thought you'd get married and have a family quite a surprise I spent years honing my profiling skills but I never saw that one coming oh, he had a wife that's what makes humans so interesting. And that's why I just can't leave you guys alone. More than anything else, seeing you look so happy is the best thing I could ever ask for. Anyway, Zach, did you see the newspaper today? As it turns out, over the last three months, there's been a string of bizarre incidents near New Orleans. Residents there are reporting a sudden strike of nausea. Oh no, I'm and then they completely lose control of their bodies. Some have already had two months of only being able to walk backwards. <laughs> Does that make you feel anything? It makes me feel something. I know you feel it too, Zach. <laughs> of course I feel it. Are you testing me, York? So when, do, so when do we leave? Okay, Zach. I thought that's what you'd say. Well then, it's time to wake up, Zach. Was that the wrong answer? Zach to you? All right. I'm confused. Where was the musical number? Oh, weeb. Oh, weeb. All right. So I don't really know how I feel about this game. I definitely enjoyed it. I was definitely entertained. The only couple times that it lost me and I was actually having a bad time, like I didn't want to play it anymore, were during the chase sequences, which were thankfully short-lived. And just everything that happened with George and the resolution of, the, of that mystery really rang hollow to me. Maybe it's supposed to, so to set up the epilogue surprise thing with the real ending. Um, I like that, but I st I'm not going to pretend I understand anything that went along that went on just now. So my read on this is that there exists another supernatural kind of world. There's different forces. It seems like York is possibly like the the quote good holy force and then Kaysen was like the dark evil force you know um red red versus white maybe I don't know um and Kaysen is one of these creatures or agents that is kind of just like sowing chaos around the place with these this time with seeds but it could be with something else and the FBI caught on to this or the dad did and the dad got wrapped up in it and Kaysen found out about it and like we'll, we'll punish people that get in on it just like sowing more chaos or whatever um, I don't really understand why York and Zack were like, they repressed so much that they didn't really, they, they didn't remember exactly what happened in the house. That seemed like a kind of a cheap twist there to be like, oh, we don't, it, the dad didn't really shoot the mom, but maybe they were lying. Maybe they didn't really remember it properly. I don't really understand how Kaysen just knew that York would, wouldn't recognize him. Maybe, K, maybe Kaysen knew what he had done to York. Maybe this is something Kaysen does. Maybe Kaysen just picks people and, and, and timeline, uh, 
and bloodlines and families and just keeps fucking with them over and over and over and over and over again and that's why he like hit him in the head and like sent him to the red room maybe or something i don't know like that that was kind of weird there was there was a lot of things about this that are, that are kind of weird that i have to do a lot of imaginative work to get there and for some reason i'm kind of happy about it i'm happy i'm happy to do it because the game was so interesting um yeah i don't know like i i the fact that emily started seeing the zombies too was kind of like weird and it's never brought up everything to do with thomas was kind of weird too george having a sex cult was kind of glossed over a little bit too because he, he doesn't exactly you know like exude so much fucking charisma but maybe he had some powers with the seeds and not everything needs to be really thoroughly explained but it was definitely unsatisfying it's probably the worst part of the game by far was was the george thing i liked the tone of it overall i liked york and york slash zach was definitely the standout i really liked them a lot i think they definitely could have sold more that emily was this kind of like special person I, like the whole time it's kind of like you know that bit in arrested development where michael Sarah's character starts dating the girl and everyone's kind of like her really like her it's like like i like emily she's fine but her really like what? like yeah so i don't i don't know like um i actually thought it was kind of sad and and it, i'm surprised that that it, that it got me a little bit when the whole thing happened when york died and went off with with emily and like that was the moment that that zach lost both of them at the same time uh, i felt that that actually surprisingly worked even though it was jank like the rest of it um revealing that he has like shock white hair was hilarious i don't think they should have done that i think i think his hair should have stayed dark i think the eye matching the scar would have been enough the the, the hair was just that was anime bullshit absolute anime bullshit it's funny if you don't shave this is does this beard go white too favorite tf what do you mean tf if you don't shave it stays black the, the beard stays black it's just it's just there okay uh but i did enjoy the game i'm very happy that i played it thank you for making me play it um i'd be interested in the sequel but everyone says that it's, it's not as good i don't think we'll be playing more tomorrow if even the person who 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 vouch, vouch for this game voosh uh the most um thinks that uh, i saw enough of it then i'm i'm good to to be fine with that oh the second one looks a lot better holy crap people said it was just look it looked like i had just a minor upgraded visuals the lighting in that scene looks way better what the fuck is it a prequel deadly premonition 2 a blessing in disguise is an open world survivor horror video game serving as both a sequel and prequel to the original deadly premonition what this has 200 reviews this was not a popular game what do you mean it's a sequel and a prequel i've been spoiled at one at some point you go bowling Return as FBI Special Agent Francis York Morgan, just call him York, everyone does, and experience a brand new murder mystery. Both a prequel and a sequel, a historic investigation to uncover the murder mystery and Le Carri, an open world adventure, travel around the, the town of Le Carri, Le Carri by foot or skateboard. What? <sighs> February 22nd, 2010, 8 p.m. Deadly Premonition Review. Horrific by Eric Brudvig. Deadly Premonition is the definition of a system seller. Once you play it, you'll want to sell your system. <laughs> that may seem like a harsh statement, but it's been a long time since I've played any box retail game on any system that feels this amateurish. If Deadly Premonition were to release eight years ago, we'd probably probably be hailing it as the, the Shenmue killer. It's got an entire city to explore, citizens to talk to, and side quests to find all tucked inside a survival horror package. We of course would have been deluding ourselves. Deadly Premonition isn't just outdated in its look, it's fundamentally bad. Where to begin? I've been following Deadly Premonition with interest for ages, ever since a wacky trailer was released at the Tokyo Game Show in 2007. It looked like a Twin Peaks knockoff, and when I later learned it would be a survival horror game, I was intrigued. I don't think the final product could be any more disappointing. Clip that you can click on with the tagline underneath, Watch and Cringe. You play as Agent Yo- There's a kazoo section? You play as Agent York, a city slick FBI agent who has ventured out to the quaint town of Greenvale to investigate a murder. 
The surreal presentation kicks off straight away. The opening scene shows a set of twins discovering a mutilated body hung from a tree. You begin the game in a trippy room covered in fallen red leaves, and it doesn't take long for monsters from another dimension to start attacking you after a car crash. From there, the investigation will begin. You'll you'll be introduced to Greenvale's quirky inhabitants, you'll wonder why Agent York has an imaginary friend named Zack that he talks to, you'll search for clues and canvas the town, taking part in mini games like car races or fishing to pass the time. Actually, you'll probably turn the game off before you get that far. Deadly Premonition gives about the worst first impression a game ever could. The controls are a bad version of what you get in Resident Evil, there is no free camera movement, and you can't move while using weapons or reloading. The battle chatter, particularly, so you hate Resident Evil 4 too? Particularly that of the enemy as they die is downright awful. The graphics make this title look like a bad PS2 game. Yeah, that's true. Things don't get much better. Even if you can convince yourself that the story and quirky sense of humor the game offers are enough to make up for all the technical shortcomings, the, pl the pacing is more than enough of an excuse to give up on Deadly Premonition. Driving from one end of the town to the other, as you'll be required to do repeatedly, is painfully slow, as is the transition from one screen to the next, and the game will make that slow transition every time you pick up an object. Every battle sequence feels like it is simply cut and pasted from, one, from the one prior. True, with only a few boss fights and few boss fights there were there were three right right at the end and poor quick time event button prompts to break up the monotony the game will easily last you over 20 hours but it feels like very little of that time is spent doing anything poignant there are a few bright spots in this mess. The goofy characters and Twisted Story are pretty intriguing. There are a few game mechanics, such as the beard that grows on Agent York if you fail to shave it, or flies that begin to hover around you if you don't change suits often enough, that give Deadly Pre Premonition some charm. The voice acting during conversations isn't so bad either, and is acted, which is surprising given how awful the sound effects are and how often the small, the small set of moody songs repeat over and over and over. How dare you! That's not even to mention the near-broken directional audio. Playing this in 5.1 surround sound is a joke. Deadly Premonition isn't very difficult, but it should be mentioned that it is possible to find yourself stuck in a situation with no recourse. Missions can't be restarted, they can be replayed, but it kicks you back to the main menu after the replay rather than allowing you to continue on, and the game only allows a single save file. Yeah, that's weird, why would they do that? If you happen to, if you happen upon a tough boss battle, which will only be tough because of how poorly the game controls, and find yourself low on health and ammo, you may just have, have to give up and start over or quit. Verdict. Awful in nearly every way, the Twin Peaks meets Resident Evil with a dash of Grand Theft Auto formula sounds pretty great, and it was well beyond the capabilities of this development team. Terrible controls, terrible pacing, terrible sound effects, terrible visuals. Maybe you can convince yourself that these things don't matter as you work through this surreal and quirky storyline. The rest of us will be off playing better video games. 2 out of 10. Painful. More reviews by this person. Fable 3, 8.5. Alan Wake, 8. Halo Reach Legendary Edition, 9.5. So, I think that this review um, kind of sucks, but I don't disagree with it. I, I think that this is this is a fair take, and I feel like it's, it's fine to have this opinion. I definitely understand it. I can see why you would get here. But I feel like this review kind of sucks because it doesn't really give much detail. Like, um... Like what's here is fine. It just this needed to be like twice as long. Like where where's the rest of the like talk more about the gameplay a little bit. Talk more about the story a little bit. You know like I, I feel like this is like the beginning of the first third or first half of the review. Um, so I'm not. I, I don't think this review is is very good. But what is here, I I can't really contest to be honest. This this is this is a fair appraisal. If you don't vibe with this game, I can definitely see someone thinking this. M makes sense to me to be honest. Scathing. Scathing. This review would be better if it was 4.5 hours long, don't you think? Yeah, if it was 4.5 hours long, had footage to accompany it, um, was narrated by me, and also I wrote what I was narrating. I think, I think, yeah, I think that would be better. You have to realize the original game was way more frustrating. The director's cut has way lower enemy HP. Original game has even has a hard mode. It's awful. Oh, does it? I didn't know that. Read the Destructoid, Destructoid review. Okay. By 10 years ago, by James Stephanie Sterling. That one? Return of the Zack. Deadly Premonition may be the most well-known review I've I've ever written. What? No, this is not it. This this is this is a re-review? Is it Okay, Jads, can you link me link me which one people want me to read? Yeah, I was on the wrong one. Okay, here we go. 
Same person though. Previously during the investigation, Deadly Premonition arrived with no fan with no fanfare, and even this was 13 years ago, and even fewer appearances on store shelves. In fact, not many people outside of the hardcore gaming community and not a great deal more within it know of its existence. Yet this $20 horror game has been in development for years. It was $20 at release? Oh. I first heard about Deadly Premonition when it was still called Rainy Woods in 2007. However, the game is older even than that. Oh. Well, be being released for $20. I feel like that should have been included in the IGN review. Like, that's really low at release. Like, holy shit. What? <clears throat> we knew it would be a disturbed, crazy, very silly game, and we were prepared for more than enough cheesy, iconic, ironic humor. We were ready to laugh at it, in other words. However, nobody at Destructoid was truly prepared for this game. Nobody can be prepared for it. Despite taking cues from Silent Hill, Clock Tower, Resident Evil, and of course Twin Peaks, Deadly Premonition manages to be completely unique. In all honesty, there is nothing like this game. Perhaps there never will be again. If you want some FK in your coffee, please read on for our full review of Deadly Premonition. Deadly Premonition Xbox 360 Developer Access Games Publisher Ignition Entertainment released February 23rd, 2010, MSRP 1999. That is a very important piece of information. Holy shit. Special Agent France York Morgan, just call him York, everybody else does, is an FBI criminal profiler with an interest in the murder of young girls. He's also got a split personality called Zack, whom he talks to frequently and openly in front of other people. Other people never question this particular quirk. York is on his way to Greenvale, where a young woman has been cut open and hung from a red tree. However, as soon as York arrives, he realizes this won't just be any other case. Not least for the fact that Greenvale is crawling with undead horrors that Ben over backwards and like thrusting their arms into his mouth. Yeah, it's fucking hilarious and awkward, bud. When Deadly Premonition starts, you, you'd be forgiven for thinking it would be a derivative po pofist? What? Po hyphen faced British having an assumed solemn, serious, or earnest expression or manner. I've never seen that in my life. Po-faced survival horror that simply rims, rips off Silent Hill or Siren. However, once the prologue has been cr completed and York arrives in Greenvale, the game, th the game throws a couple uh, thro throws a complete curveball and becomes a ludicrous pantomime of pop culture references, shamelessly contrived humor, and the kind of dialogue that leaves both that leaves you both scratching your head and laughing your face off. Very much like Agent York, Deadly Premonition is a game with a split personality, equal parts atmospheric horror and farc farcical comedy. The game knows it too. It constantly undermines its scary moments with awful one-liners and some of the most amusingly inappropriate music in video game history. <laughs> yeah, true. Seconds after witnessing a brutal murder, Morgan will make will make wisecracks while a jazz saxophone starts to play, which is curiously played by an elephant, sometimes with the body in the very same room. He'll share anecdotes about serial rapists and killers who urinate in female skulls, making light of brutally horrific crimes over dinner. Agent York is clearly insane, and the cast of, of N-centric characters he meets aren't far behind. Deadly Premonition is a virtual zoo of strangeness and the player's job is merely to be confused by it all gas mask wearing material mysterious capitalists who only communicate through rhyming servants creepy who, who turns out not to be a bad guy creepy angel twins who speak in riddles cross-dressers killers and half mad war veterans are all part of the game's ridiculous cast each one of them overacted and full of senseless dialogue in short this entire game has lost its mind if it even had a mind to begin with and it's fantastic it may surprise you to know that Deadly Premonition is more than just a survival horror game. It's open world as well. The town of Greenvale is free to explore and quite huge. There are submissions that York can undertake as well as collectibles strewn across the map. The game is... What was the budget of the game? Does anyone know? The game is split between these open world sections where York can explore, gather clues, and talk to townsfolk, and the various dungeon levels full of zombies to shoot in a Resident Evil 4 style hand... For, for style... For, really, Resident Evil 4 style stand and shoot combat system. I'm gonna guess like a couple million. I'd be surprised if it's more than 10 million. I'm gonna guess around maybe four or five million. Taking a cue from Dead from Dead Rising, York can activate certain missions only during specific times of the day, and he has plenty of downtime in between tasks to explore of his own free will. While wandering around Greenvale or driving about in cars that handle pretty decently for the for a PS2 era budget game, no, no, no. No, players will have to make sure York stays clean shaven, well fed, and wide awake. He has a tiredness and hunger level that needs regular maintenance. When he becomes tired, he gets hungry quickly. Uh, sorry, quicker. When he gets too hungry, his health depletes. It sounds like a drag, but it's actually no big deal. You just need to remember to find beds or diners at regular intervals, or you can carry snacks and coffee to keep the meter up. It never really interferes with the game. Plus, York gets special cash bonuses for performing mundane tasks like shaving, his beard grows in real time, and changing his clothes to buy food, cars, and weaponry. The horror sections of the game are more straightforward and involve 
York solving various simple puzzles while routinely shooting at zombies. As with Resident Evil 4, the enemies mostly stay the same, although there is some variety and a few insane bosses fight, boss fights toward the end, and combat is quite simple. York stands to fire and has access to a growing cache of weapons that include your average video game mainstays, pistols, machine guns, shotguns, and the like. Where was the Magnum? We never got the Magnum. At first the game is very easy, but later becomes quite tense as zombies grow tougher and spaces grow tighter. So okay, that was not my experience at all, but maybe in the original release it was it was like that. York has one trick up his, up his sleeve. The zombies detect breath. By holding his breath, York can slip past enemies and move to a more advantageous position. What? I could have done that. I What? There was a stealth system? I don't remember that. Was that taken out? Could I have done that at any point? You could do that in combat. I could have? What? All right. Crouching makes you invisible. You can crouch? What do you mean you can crouch? Okay. However, he has a pulse rate that increases when running or holding his breath, so he cannot be invisible forever. Despite the lack of enemy variety, the game manages to stay interesting thanks to this tactical use of holding one's breath. No, nope, no, it doesn't. What the hell? The horror is also ramped up by a particular enemy who seems taken straight from Clock Tower's book of shit your pants scary, the Raincoat Killer. What? At various points of the game... Scary? He was funny as fuck? At various points in the game, Greenvale's resident, resident serial killer will show up to ruin your day. He either grabs York to instigate a simple quick time event, he'll try and sniff York out while he's hiding in lockers or under tables, or he'll start off a surprisingly scary chase scene <laughs> what? in which players must waggle the left stick to keep York running while hitting buttons to open doors and evade thrown axes. The game throws these scenes in one too many times, but they are shockingly well done. Uh, and managed to keep the game refreshingly spooky in amidst the silliness. Uh, excuse me? As far as the gameplay itself goes, Deadly Premonition won't be beating any of your AAA games on the market. However, for a budget title, everything is surprisingly competent and tight. Yeah, for $20 back then, I think that it's pretty good. The controls are decent enough, the combat is relatively balanced, and the action can scare when it, when it needs to. Compared to your average budget game, Deadly Premonition is a new gold standard. The worst that can be said of it is that it is outdated. It's very clear this game was designed with a PlayStation 2 in mind, but if you have a love for old school survival horror, there's absolutely no reason why you should let age get in the way of something that would have been an utter classic several, several years ago. The strange thing with Deadly Premonition is that everything it does is kind of bad, and there's no getting around that. <laughs> the story is thoroughly crazy and doesn't make any sense, the acting is poor, the music is often too loud, the graphics are far below average, yet Deadly Premonition is the very first game I've seen that has been able to pull off that unique so bad it's good flavor. The fact that this game is so below the standards actually works superbly. Usually a bad game struggles to maintain this ideal thanks to frustratingly awful gameplay, but since the combat is actually serviceable, I would agree it's serviceable, this particular title can get away with being absolutely terrible in a completely hilarious way. It stumbles psychotically from one unbelievable scene to the next, manages managing to be shockingly tasteless, fragrant, flagrantly stupid, and subtly subtly self-aware at all times. Sorry, I'm tired, I'm having a little trouble reading. Much of the game is simply too bizarre to adequately describe, and one, definite, one definitely needs a twisted sense of humor in order to get what Deadly Premonition is all about. However, if you truly understand this game well, well, as best as one can understand such a monstrous creation, oh, it's not just me then, okay, good, then you will be struck dumb by one of the most memorable and truly unique titles ever crafted. I agree with that. Yes, Deadly Premonition is bad. By most standards, it's terrible, and yet I wouldn't change a thing. Deadly Premonition is almost perfect perfect at what it does. It, it thoroughly, confusingly entertains from start to finish. There is nothing about this beautiful disaster I would like to have seen done differently, apart from maybe lower the HP on the really annoying wall-crawling wall zombies. True! Oh man, double true. From start to finish, this game constantly, consistently delights with its refreshingly offbeat sense of humor and its almost deliberately awful cutscenes. The fantastically cheesy soundtrack and the horrible B-movie quality act acting only helps to seal the deal. Deadly Premonition is a masterpiece of atrocious a ver uh, wait, what? Deadly Premonition is a masterpiece of atrocious, a veritable triumph of terrible. Oh, okay. Red, red mark, comma splice. It takes everything we've come to accept as bad in video games and somehow makes it work in the most uh, ironic of senses. If the game was of high quality in any one area, it might run the risk of making the other sections look bad. However, the balance of rubbish is so well maintained that it can only be charm and endear itself to any player with a heart, uh, with a heart and a capacity for inappropriate laughter. <sighs> IGN, oh, called out, called out. All right, we're almost at the end. From start to finish, uh, this game consists... Oh, I read that already. Deadly Premonition is like watching two clowns eat each other. <laughs> 
where they turn and, and say, does this taste funny to you? Um, it's perverse, it's wrong, and yet it's so fucking funny. There are many uh, who will not understand or even want to understand what makes it so compelling and excellent despite its quality. For the $20 price tag, however, there will be no finer experience for survival horror fans or the love for the Darkly comic. The game, the game took me just under 19 hours to complete, and that was with plenty of side missions left to finish. In the budget game sphere, no title has ever been so lengthy, so, so robust, so varied, and so very rewarding. Yeah, I, I mean, I'm not surprised that they're harping on so well about um uh about the the, the price because the price has changed my view of this completely from when it came out like holy shit like holy fuck like twenty dollars like what what the shit man um one simply has to factor the price into the judgment for this yeah for this one because value for money is through the roof and the evident love put into this game's development is something you never really see from any other game in the same price bra bracket ultimately ignition could have charged a bit more for this and it would still be worth it I agree yeah I thought it was like 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 a full price game when it came out when we judge a game like this how do we do it do we judge simply on gameplay if so the repetitive combat and long drives around town may very well mark it as a mediocre title do we judge it on story quality if so then we have a game that makes no sense and frequently makes light of murder and sexual deviancy i say a game needs to be judged by how often it made you happy how much you laughed or became excited and how long you spend thinking about it after it was finished this is the mark of when a reviewer can't explain why they like something <laughs> I don't know why I like this. It just made me fucking happy, okay? Fuck you. And I, I, I definitely understand. Like I'm, I, I, I get it. Like, <laughs> like another one is, um, uh, is it, is it, uh, is it Rasputin that says this? Like, uh, the mark of a great game is one that you keep thinking about as more as time passes. Like how long it survives in your memory. That's another mark of I just fucking like it, okay? I just fucking like it. Again, I agree. Like it's it's not wrong, but it's like you know I just like it. No other game has made me laugh so hard. Laugh almost to the point of tears. Laugh just by thinking about it. Deadly Premonition may well be the first game reviewed almost purely for its comedic value, but for a game so funny, it has to be done. Deadly Premonition is beautiful. No, not graphically. Graphically, it's atrocious. It's a beautiful train wreck, and it's well aware of that of the fact um i would say that should be that fact right despite this game being quite like everything ever made there's nothing quite like the game itself there's absolutely nothing in this industry that can that can compare to how weird and wonderful the whole experience is judged as a piece of entertainment as a game that consistently surprises and amazes and leaves jaws hanging i have no choice but to say that deadly premonition goes above and beyond this game is so bad it's not just become good it's pretty close to perfect so says mr stewart 10 out of 10 flawless much better review much better review i mean i also agree with the ign review like i agree with these reviews probably both equally actually but that's a much better review a much better review um a lot of detail i can tell a, like the person actually really played the game whereas with the ign review there's a little niggling doubt in my head like did this person even finish it did they just like look up what the last bosses were or whatever like because there's so little detail i'm like did did you did you actually play it you know what i mean like um that 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 was that was pretty good yeah so yeah um yeah i enjoyed this game do you agree that a game can be a great experience but also a bad game i mean that's just, that's kind of semantics sure I think you, I could make a statement like that, yeah. So the only thing I can see on the budget is a forum post saying it was just under 4.5 mil, and the DP lead director was quoted as saying the budget was not very much. Yeah, that, that seems about right for me, yeah. 4.5 mil, yeah. Games are really expensive. Did the game make you interested in watching Twin Peaks? No, I was already interested in watching Twin Peaks, so yeah. Anyway, um, I'm way over time, so that's it for me. Uh, thank you for watching. Uh, tomorrow, I don't know what we're going to do tomorrow. I don't know. I don't think we're going to do side quests. I think, I think we've had the, the DP experience. I've been DP'd. That's it. See you later, everybody. Godspeed.